All right, welcome everybody. We are not live today. No, not today. <laughs> welcome to our first live episode of Jump Street Podcast. Our this first non-live. First non-live, right? Yeah. Did I say that right? No, you not. said it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm leaving that in there. <laughs> <laughs> Episode six. We're not live today. Yes. How's everyone doing out there? We are uh, kicking off our first non-live episode with a very special guest, which we'll get into in a minute. But also, just so you know, even though we're not live, you still welcome at the table. Come yes, the still table. come in. You still room. still chat in the comments below and all that <laughs> stuff. You can pretend we're live. Just tell all your friends to simultaneously watch this episode at the same time. Right? Yes. That works. Okay. Everyone, just bring everyone in. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Um, after you do that, though, make sure you follow us, subscribe, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, where you're watching this now. Um, if you're listening only, we are on iTunes and Stitcher and a bunch of Google uh, podcasting platforms, too. I won't get into the specifics yet because I don't really know them. But um, we're still looking for reviews on iTunes. So if you give us a review, you are going to help bring Blading back to the top. So if you follow us, yeah, if you follow us, well, if you follow us, go to iTunes. Yeah. Subscribe like on iTunes. Stuff. Five stars. Five stars. Give less. us a review. <laughs> we want to know what you have to say. And we have reviews of the week every week. We have one this week, especially. This is from uh, ESG JSF. I wonder who that is. Who is that? I don't know. <laughs> Someone named is good. Just this live podcast is seemingly becoming the new Bible since Video Groove magazine for current and past rollerblading topics. Their guests so far have been some of the most influential skaters in our sport. I've thoroughly enjoyed all the episodes Jump Street has released. They go into depth with their guests and also shed light on things other... Oh, I'm fucking terrible at this. <laughs> I'm reading. <laughs> <laughs> they go into depth with their guests and also shed light on things others never knew about until Jump Street Podcast came along. I had typos in here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure to subscribe and support two passionate rollerbladers who want to ensure our sport gets the coverage and discussions that are imperative to keeping our culture alive and thriving. Thank Shout you for those kind words, ESG. ESG is Shout like our, there. he's like our number one, like, you know. If, if this is the Blading Bible, wh yeah. who is he like? He's always there on our wh show. Which character in always the Bible? Always texting us. I'm not going to oh, get into oh, that. Oh, it's the Blading Bible. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to get into Let's that. Let's see. I'd say John. <laughs> 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 I don't know many people in the Bible. Not the All right, cool. Is there anything else? We're not doing a... W2F of the week well, this no, week. No, no, we're not doing the WTF of the week this week. But, but again, we just want to reiterate, like if you don't, if you're listening to this show and you don't follow us on Instagram, but mm. don't know what you're doing, mm -hmm. it's confusing. Yeah. If you, you if you're listening to this, you should be following us on Instagram. Yeah. But, but definitely. if you don't follow us on Instagram, you could follow us on YouTube. You could follow us on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Subscribe to our page. We have a Patreon. We have a Stitcher. Mm -hmm. We're now on iTunes. Yes. As huge. Uh, re I'm reiterating, but huge. um, so th so these are the things. If you if if you're listening to this, mm. take those steps. Do and uh, and even though we don't have a WTF of the week, please tag us in your suggestions too. Yeah. So that we could have uh, a nice library to collect from we for every week. Yeah, we want to know what you guys think should be WTF of the week. Totally. So let us know about that. Without further ado. Yes, set it off. We have our guest of the week. Guest of the week, Miguel Ramos. I like how the drum roll is becoming like a standard mm. now. <laughs> well, it works. They're both drummers, right? Totally. <laughs> All right. Welcome, Miguel. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being here. Thanks. For Thank, thanks for having me over. Talk thanks right into the mic. Like, is that blessed to be? Pull, pull the mic closer to you. Like, you can put it at the yeah, end yeah, of the table right, or yeah. shit, whatever. Yeah, there you go. I know you're, you're a bit taller than our other guests we've had so far. <laughs> so <laughs> that's the tallest it goes. Yeah, we, need get, like, a we need to get like, a booster seat for the mic yeah, for right. the tall people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having me here. Welcome to New York, man. Uh, Welcome back. It's beautiful. Nothing better that comes to New York. New York had something so special for me. This is the 90s. Like, and, and skating are special? And like uh, just in general? In, gen in life, general family and skating, obviously. Mm. It's like two good main things here. Like New York, dude. New York is New York. You got to stay I, here for longer. I must. I have to. I don't even uh, think a lot of people know you're from New York. Like I, th I think in, ca in in California, like a lot of people, like oh, he's from Puerto Rico. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm from Puerto Rico, born and raised. Yeah, but my my fam my mom and everything, like they born and raised here in Brooklyn, Williamsburg. Like my family. So your mom was, and your dad are from Brooklyn? No, my dad's from Puerto Rico. My my mom and all that side, my family, Rodriguez mm -hmm. and Orama, they're from Brooklyn, Williamsburg. Well, then my, my grandparents were from Puerto Rico, and they immigrate in the forties, fifties. Mm -hmm. Wow, had a big time moving here. Yeah. And they, yeah, they all start here, everything. And my mom went all the way to high school here, and then all his life here. And then 
went to Puerto Rico and have, have us there, you know. And then we always been coming back and forth through the 80s. So when yeah. did you come here for the first time? 80, 89, 88. Because 89, I think. So you were like 8 or 9? Yeah, I remember they pick us, my mom picked us, pick up us, us at school and just took us straight to the airport. We were running away from Puerto Rico. What? No yeah. way. So we, I moved here with my school uniform in the airport like, what? Yeah, we're moving to New York. I said, like, whoa. <laughs> All right. <Jeez. laughs> See, I'm in Brooklyn for, That's intense. for a little bit until our dad find us and took my brothers. And I stay here with my younger brother a little bit more. And my mom had to go back to Puerto Rico. And yeah. we start full on. Wow. Back in Puerto Rico. So that's yeah. when it started when you were like eight and then went yeah. back and back and forth. And back and forth. And, oh. and then my first time here uh, skating was in 96. It's a good like, time to be skating in New York. Yeah, like three months mm-hmm. here. It's when I started. Like, oh my God, it's amazing. Mm-hmm. It's a good time, huh? So many people skating. It was like, I don't know. I, well, last time I went to Spain, a bunch of people skating, different crews around. Mm-hmm. It was like that multiplied by 10. Mm-hmm. The year was intense. Like, so pure, so beautiful. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> it's crazy. You're going to make us cry. <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. It's it's but you can still see that here. Yeah. Yeah, you do. There's so much people still there. Yeah, you guys were like, every time, all you, like anybody who's not from New York, they come to New York, they're always blown away by seeing, like running into other skaters in the street or like yeah, the crowds yeah, that show up. And I guess we're used to that. And yeah. we don't even think it's a big deal anymore because yeah. it used to be bigger, mm-hmm. but it still happens but now still and there. then. And when you're used to driving around California spot to spot, you never you know, see that. that. Yeah, yeah. 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 You, everyone's just locals on the street yeah. just cruising around. New York have the happy medium of uh, the European skating and the California skating right in the middle. Right, yeah. have totally. that both worlds yeah. in one. That makes sense. It's the, the, the born place of street skating, yeah. right? New York City, dude. I, 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 get I, it. I, I, tell, I, I'll, I tell people all the time when they, when they say uh, I'm from New York, I'm like, yeah, I'm not from America. Because I don't think it's no. America. Mm-hmm. New York's That's its so own true. country. Mm-hmm. That is true. It's, it's, it's its that own true. thing. You know? I believe that. America <laughs> is a different thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nueva York, Nueva York. Que bonito, Nueva sí, York. Vamos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Miguel, for people who may not know exactly who you are, or we touched a little bit on your background right there. What about like your skating background, I guess, for people who don't really know too much about you? Skating background? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Like, you, yeah. yeah. How'd you get in? How you guys skating? Well... My first time skating was like, oh my god, very very little. There was a pair of skates at home, roller skates, mm-hmm. you know, the quads, the quads. Roller skates, wow. This is before in line, and uh, I grew up across the street from where the skate park is nowadays. It's mm-hmm. always been Ramses there since the eighties. So I always run away from my grandma's house and skate and go to the skate park and spend all day there. And people just say, "Here's a bike, here's a skateboard, mm-hmm. here's, a, here's a pair of roller skates." I'm the kid, I'm playing there. Mm-hmm. So I grew up there. Like, see people building ramps, selling things on the street to make money and build more ramps. So that, that was my life. That was, that was everything for me. And right there, I knew right away. I was like, this is so rad. Mm-hmm. Music and skating, that's it. So that was in the 80s. But I have my, my I own my first pair of inline skates. First of all, not so many people who skate can say in the, in the 80s. I was just thinking that. I was like, holy <laughs> people, shit, the we 80s. Always, we always say like the 90s. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, remember the ni- like, like mid 90s, so like yeah, that's, 80s. I didn't even know that. That's about a weird thing yeah. to say. Yeah. <laughs> so not 90- skating in the 80s. You know? <laughs> <laughs> in 92, my sister, 91, 92, my sister had a pair of inline skates. It was a new thing back then. Mm-hmm. I was already a skateboarder, like, and you know, all the other stuff. But I was really into already like grinding and ramps and all that stuff. So she had a pair of inline skates. I was like, whoa. And then a homie came to my house and he told me like, there's a guy in California that do handrails and these things. And I was <laughs> like, because <laughs> I know that people do tricks on roller skates on vert ramps. Yeah. I used to, I used to so watch he, he was talking about Edwards. Obviously. Yeah, he's talking about Edwards. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I've, been, I've been seeing like there's roller skaters. Yeah, there's a guy. There's one guy. There's one guy. I don't know. I haven't seen many videos or anything like that. Yeah. I've seen videos of roller skaters and Santa Cruz skateboard videos. They have a little session right. one time. Fred Blood, and those but, guys well, but five forties. If I'm not mistaken, like skateboard, like rollerbladers were doing rails first, right? The what? The skateboard? Like were skateboarders doing rails? Yeah, quick rails, like what? four stairs. Four, like before rollerbladers. R- no, but that's what I'm curious about. Well, big long, that. Um, no, that, that uh, um, was it? Mark Gonzalez. Mark Gonzalez was doing. He, Almost nine stairs already. Really? Guns. Yeah, yeah, what, yeah. What, the guns. Saw him the other day. Salama, Actually, and Salama, Salama, Gaja. Right <laughs> Salama Gaja was doing like big stairs. Really? So we know yeah. the possibilities okay. of big handrails. And I didn't know. Yeah, yeah, but the inline skate was so impossible. All the wheels were like 75 and up, 72 yeah. millimeters and up. 
So grinding. Super we were, soft too. Super soft. Yeah. <laughs> it's insane. Yeah. So for us to see like, oh, we actually can grind on that. Like, and I know roller skates were doing like slashes in vert ramps, like 270, like mm-hmm. looking back towards kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And all those grinds in vert. But it was nothing like, and like a street skating. Like for me as a skateboarder, I was like always looking like big nose lights. So when I see a front side, I was like big grind on blades. I was like mind blown. This is so sick. Like, so anyway, my sister got a pair of nice skates in 92. And, and I took it, and I heard about all this grinding stuff, and I was like, hmm. So I started doing all the things that we used, we used to see at the skate park. And then in Puerto Rico back then was huge. Skating was huge, like really you know, Lausanne style. From here, it looked like it was huge yeah. down there. Because like yeah. when we were watching those videos of like Christian and like Abdiel, like it was like, oh, wow, the scene looked so healthy. Yeah, they were, we were skating for years before mm-hmm. that. Like before it was like, Oh my god, like 93, 92, we already have like Team Rollboy over there doing a demo. Chris Edwards, Brooke Howard Smith, and Pat Parnell, everybody were doing a, a, a show contest over there. Damn, really? Yes, and they would have, a, would have TV shows with Inna Skates. San Juan or? San Juan, yeah. and in Aguadilla, we have in the airport, in Aguadilla, it's a massive airport, and it was like skating contest there once. It was what? like thousand of thousand, Lausanne style. Damn, then I didn't even know that. It was like that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, it only lasts like two years, that booming. When Royals came out, Blading was dead already in Puerto Rico. Like '96, there's no skating in Puerto Rico. Just, really? Just when just Rouse came out, blading. Was there. <laughs> when blading <laughs> really pops on the TV, blading was disappearing over there. We disappeared. Already. No. Yeah, you know, it's the Stair Bash era, and the first wow. frontside era. That was huge. Damn. Well, yeah. that's when that's I first started. I mean, that's when I first started skating. But that's yeah. when I was seeing a lot of Puerto Rican like videos, and like it was one of the, few the places outside the states where we saw in videos. Yeah, yeah. Like a blading the guys was really were, popular. Yeah, the guys were very ahead. Like Christian Jose Cuervo. Mm-hmm. Jose Cuervo was a pro vert skater. I didn't even know that. He was yeah. provert. Dude, that's that happens that I do. He was one of the best street skaters. He was doing that for me. Yeah. Yes. Like, his street skating was... He was... Yeah, dude. Oh he was, like... Yeah. <clears throat> he was doing true kai grinds both ways in, like, yeah. 99. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Down rails. Yeah. yeah. When grinds like, become a big thing... I was, I was I was confused by how good he was. I was like... He was year, <laughs> he was year ahead already. No, he was, like, you're already thinking, yeah. like... He was doing switch front sides and switch soles in 94. You know? Mm. <laughs> he was already thinking of the... It was very, very, ways, very, so. like, and the way you land, Christian, too. We have a rules of, like, landing with both feet at the same time and make sure you don't move, you know? You remember mm. Christian? Like, that's yeah, serious. Yeah, like, yeah. we all grew up like that. Not to be perfect. I could tell that by, like, <laughs> now that you mentioned it, by Christian skating was always like that, too. He yeah. land, boom, yeah. solid, stop. Don't no like, arms. Oh, There's yeah, no, no, no arms. Nothing. The rule was no arms over the place. <laughs> so and I was solid. the worst on that because I'm big. Kid. I'm only <laughs> this high since I was, like, seventh grade. So imagine <laughs> that. So, yeah, but everything was, like, make sure you land everything. And you have to learn, le- learn everything switch first. What? Yeah, I remember like learning like good backslides, and Christian was like, "Well, you don't warm up like that anymore. You warm up switch." What the hell? Yeah, so I we never ha- heard we have like a, we have like a rule in, in Quebradillas. Every what? time Christian goes, we go to like, these down boxes, and it's like, "All right, you have to do everything both ways." That's your warm up. Is he from yeah. Quebradillas? No, he's from San Juan, so but he used to go to college in Mayagüez, and he always drive through the side of Puerto Rico and stop in Quebradillas. We hang out, and then he go to his home. It's crazy. I met I met Christian the first time in New York. Well, and it's ninety six. That's weird. Yeah, yeah like that's oh, right. I remember it's ninety six. Yeah, yeah. Th- that, that was Flushing at, Metals. I, what was that? I okay, so I don't. Then yeah. I, I, <laughs> you think I'm at Seaport? Yeah, no, 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 Flushing. That was like ninety seven, ninety eight. Because I remember seeing yeah. Christian at the, the the one at the Seaport. Like the yeah. Seaport. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was there too. Yeah. yeah. So I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. Flushing Metals. And I met met Jose Cuervo. Like that was ninety four. Met Jose Cuervo. He used to work at a skate shop. You gotta come to New York to meet the Puerto Rican guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. Because, yeah. because back then there was no internet, no nothing. I mean, the yeah. other side of the island, then the other side of the yeah. island. Mm. And that's exactly, we all kind of finally find the whole crew, find each other after Hawks 3. And they're like, whoa, okay. You know, it's and the that, crew. It's yeah. the crew. I still can't believe you guys learned everything Switch. First. Yeah. That's yeah, you, you have to. Especially backslides. Yeah, so, so the so, skates are different. Actually. So, are your, yeah, yeah. so your Switch game right now is like on point, or you like. I have a mess. The mice on my feet, like kind of mm-hmm. royal one way, so the other. Because there were things that with time, they cut. there's days. There's mm-hmm. days that I can backslide better one way. So there's days that I backslide better the other. You never hear that switch, like people like switch backsliding you better one way. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes 360 better one way and 540 the other better. What? Yeah. Good for you, man. That is <laughs> not, good for, not good for me. <laughs> it's Probably bad sometimes. Pain, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. It all depends. You know, but, but, but that's a good thing. That's a good foundation to have. Yeah. That's crazy. Like, yeah, I, I was talking, talking with Stockwell the other day about that. Like how now you go to a skate bar and it's not always one way. So like you feel that way. Mm. You kind of carve to royal that way. You go the other. So you learn how to skate. If you make that in your grinding and you make that same thing with skating, mm-hmm. 
you flowing like water yeah no, I, help, I, I told someone that recently too because me and me and fish for years been playing we would play like skate mm-hmm. and then we would play switch skate right after that yeah. and then there was like maybe like a year or something like that where we only played switch skate not oh, yeah. even natural skate we uh, would only play, play switch. and then we just like both boost our switch tricks you know oh, yeah, 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 yeah and that helped definitely helped out you a lot like yourself to do and it. there's stuff that sometimes you don't even know that you can do it and you're like oh maybe i don't know about this and you try switch like oh it's not that bad but you never would have tried it otherwise you, you have know? to try yeah, yeah. next thing you know i have backs like different way that i learn also i was gonna say because because he brought up jeff like have mm. have you seen him and jeff at a skate park together it's so funny. I don't even it is know, it is a I sight have. to behold like seriously <laughs> like him and jeff go to a skate park together just double and team it there could be like whatever skateboarders that hate on blading in the case <laughs> yeah. they, like these two guys come through and they make it look so good that like in, like between the it both is. of them mm-hmm. and like you know we've been skating for over 20 yeah. years like long like I, I just literally I'm just, I just, <laughs> just watch, back right? seriously because the, the the two of them like they just I feel like they we should do a tour where they go around like skate parks in like too. the world and they like, change people's minds. Oh, bales. In bales. No, like, oh, oh god, god that's a dream. Too. But I don't see I don't see that as often. I see like you yeah, and Jeff yeah, yeah, more skating because there, like yeah. Jeff lives not. Mm. not. Yeah, the, two, yeah. the two you guys at the skate park. I love it. The feet Dude, of skateboarders other. every time they're like trying to like be mm. your friends, like they're like, yo, mm. it's so sick. Yeah, like, yeah. like yeah, <laughs> it's fun. So healthy. It is cool, man. Yeah, yeah. Love Jeff. (laughs) You never see that too at skate parks, especially in LA, like skateboarders propping bladers. No, No, it's like it's it's an uphill battle every Mm. time. Every time you show up to the park, you got blades on. You you got you have to prove something. It's crazy, but like between these guys, like it's it's it's, good. It's really hard for people to. And it's been building up through the years now. Better, like now they know, like when bladers show up in a park in LA, some of them obviously culturally have still have that hate, right? But they see it and they're like, whoa. That's sick. You got to They it, basically don't care. They're doing what they love. And mm-hmm. just like they show them here. Yeah. All adults and they ripping. They, they like. They respect that. That's the thing. Yeah. If someone's ripping it. You gotta. Everyone. Yeah. We're all older now too, so it's not like an no, little immature no, no. thing. Like when you're older, you gotta respect someone no matter what they're doing. Right. Yeah. Even like scooter kids. You know, like we might yeah. hate on scooters, but I'd be like I've seen them one or two, like a couple things on scooters. Like oh, like, oh, that's like really sick and really impressive. Like you gotta mm-hmm. give them props. Gotta, you know, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. no matter what you do, even it's like a pogo stick or a yeah. yo-yo, whatever it is. You know, if you're yeah. killing something, you're it disappoints me sometimes when bladers kind of hate on scooters. I understand. I hate blah, that blah. too. But I, it makes me like, what? I mean, it makes me want to punch How do you not know home. better? Yeah, yeah. Like, how better. Do you, that was you. How that you, was you. Yeah, how, that was how, you. How are you literally like, oh, I'm pissed that skateboarders hate on me. Fuck that guy. Yeah. It's like, how the fuck? <laughs> like, Very immature. Like, I, I see that all the time with like, Blade of Blade. It's like, you fucking with the scooter. I'm like, dude, don't do That's, that. that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Do not anyway, do that. If you're out there watching all this, all the bladers do watching this right now, don't, don't fucking do hate on scooters. Don't hate no. on anyone. Don't hate on anyone. Basically, anyone. that's it. Anyone. And that for the rip and We're the all fun. People. Yeah, yeah, all people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyhow, <laughs> right. don't bring racism to this. We have enough bullshit in the yeah, world. Yeah. When you go to escape, you unplug it from the world. We're all family. Don't fucking don't. bring. Don't bring the world, evil world, yep. inside this beautiful, that's healthy. Park. You know, environment. Leave, leave your hate at the door. Yes. <laughs> yes, please. Oh, I will take it off from you. <laughs> or, or <laughs> <laughs> let me know. I don't like that. Nobody got time for that. Anyhow, <laughs> just some Puerto Rican judo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you notice that in New York, right? It's like skateboarders and bladers are like everyone's cool out Dude, here. That's the relationships so way different here. Yeah, like, that, that changes. Every, even like when I go to LA, like it. sometimes I don't even want to skate skate parts because it's mm-hmm. like it's that, that, that yeah. animosity is always there. But in no, New York, yeah. it's not like that at all. You go to any skate nope. park and you, like, everyone's chill. Like I said before, it's, it's like a mix of Europe and America. It's the perfect yeah. happy medium yeah, right there. Totally. I just don't get why it's still there. California no. is America. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, a, America. it's that cultural joke that started in the 90s. Right. It becomes a cultural joke inside people. And subconsciously, even though they don't know what we do, that kind of skating we do, mm-hmm. They hate it because they don't. They don't know. They just. They just learn that you have to make fun of road raiders. It's just like white people that hate on black people right. for no mm-hmm. reason. They subconsciously yeah. they teach them that. So that's a lot of happening in California. Mm-hmm. Subconsciously, like culturally, you have to make fun of them. Of course, it happens. It's part of the culture. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember with Bolino one time in a bar. We're sitting in a bar. This beautiful lady show up. No, oh, we're talking. Say, what you guys? What, what you guys do? And, you know, like hobbies. And he said, roll bearding. He should start laughing. Wah, 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 wah. And then she realized that we're not laughing too. It's not. It, she realized that we're not joking. He just always a joke. <laughs> and I and he, and I put up the phone. And said, yeah, we skate. Let this skate. And this is what it looks right. like. And she opened the phone and put the six 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 ball in a section. And she was like, she said like, start looking at it. She said, I'm so sorry. She never seen somebody. No, she did. She apologized. Yeah. Apologized. Damn. I, I, yeah. I've <laughs> actually like, that exact thing. I've had that happen to me before. Yeah. I, I was in Florida and like I was like there. I was at the Chase Brothers and we were like down in some bar having a beer and 
met some a couple of girls and they were like oh you from new york what are you doing in florida i was like well i'm here because i you know i, sk- I skate they're like skateboard i was like no rollerblade yeah. and they're like ah! <laughs> i was still, like laughing i was just like yeah damn it, i'm a person man yeah. <laughs> it's, it's really sad, it's really sad. It's, do you ask what they do <laughs> yeah, they should have asked him what they did. Like, what do you do? Ah, this guy was too hot. Do? Like, you're looking at it right now. I'm at a bar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, is that what you do? <laughs> That's what you do. Talking to me? Say you gotta flip it on them. So what? What, what are they doing? I'm gonna keep that in mind next oh, time. You gotta I'm flip us- it. I'm using that one. Yeah. No, flip flop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love women too much to ask them what they do. I understand. I ask them what, you, what you are. Whatever you do. <laughs> <is okay. laughs> the true Puerto Rican comes out. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Know. The pasión. I don't need your pass, baby. I need you right now <laughs> sorry some, can't take notes this is some stuff right yeah yeah no yeah. ask questions take notes yeah. open what where they are that's so I funny <laughs> anyway, oh my god what we're talking about I forgot Dude, don't even matter <laughs> but, um, okay what, what I wanted to ask you was this because uh, you're from Quebradilla 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 there you go and, um, like, Spanish is so good it's, I love it's, 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 it's much mejor oh my god but um, you guys so the, the guys are from San Juan mm-hmm. right so was it like did you have a different experience, like not growing up in the city skating, like because you were like out in the mountains, or yeah. like what, well, was, what was that? Well, we, that that's the thing. Was Puerto, the commute tough, or did you have people around you that were skating? Or? Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, in our scene, well, we, all everybody like BMX skateboarders, whatever mm-hmm. it is, mm-hmm. roller skate. Everybody was just skating. We go spot to spot. The yeah, we didn't have much street spot, but the thing is, I if you don't know, we've been part of Spain for over five hundred years or more. So right. every town, every little town have a plaza. So every time we have a skate spot, the plaza is a skate is spot. Is that what that is? I never know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have the I Catholic church on the front oh. and a plaza. Every single town have that. That's from Spain. Yeah. So I every time we have a plaza and little plazas around. So everybody okay. has so three I, spots. It's a spots everywhere. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So we grew up like so you, but, in the but, plaza but, but like, in Balmy Hills. <laughs> yeah. But because the guys are from San Juan, were you like, did, you, did like, you skate by yourself a lot? Did you have like a friend oh, in my, town? I have some there? friends and, and then my, I have different generations of people skating. But there was time that I spent a lot of time skating alone. A lot. But I didn't want to stop because I'm watching videos. That's I feel my like that work. hasn't what, changed. I feel like you still do that. I still the same thing. <laughs> like when I, when, when I see your Instagram, it's just like you with like the phone up, like in, yeah, in yeah. that street spot sure. in yeah. Tahachapi or like yeah, yeah. that mini or something. I, 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 I love skating with my friends, but I also like skating. You're just skating, you know, with your friend or your friend. The experience of skating with friends is a beautiful thing. Mm-hmm. You're sharing that yeah. love. Mm-hmm. But if you have skating, skating is like a soul therapy, you know, yeah. the meditation totally, moment. Yeah. You unplug, you go skate, you did billion, hundred, billion souls. You get in the zone, mm-hmm. you're meditating. It's pretty healthy. If yeah. you get skating like that, it's pretty healthy. It definitely is. So, you know, like, um, yeah, I, that's how I grew I grew up doing that a lot. I skated by myself, and and when the homies come by, come by it's even better because you have really appreciate right. that stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And yeah, but I never feel alone because my, my world was watching the video, and that's my world. And I go skating. I'm still inside that video, like skating. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, that passion. Like, yeah, let's get it. Totally. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. Like, Skating, skating. Yeah. yeah. But you grew up, so you grew up, you said you grew up across the street from the Quebradilla Skate Park. Yes. Like legit across the street? Because I've been yeah, there yeah. and it's like it's in the trip. middle of yeah. nowhere. It's like. No, there's some house houses there. <laughs> there's a couple of houses, but that's like, I mean, yeah. it's not a big town or anything yeah. like that. Yeah. Like it's, the it's park is in like the mid into the mountains. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's in the very top of the little mountain. On the very top. Yeah. On the very top. The very straight down. in the middle yeah. of the top. Two houses down is my grandma's house. And then to the left is the skate park. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you build that park? Yeah, we so all build it. We all build it. It was wood before. Right? Yeah. Before that, so, wood. so when you were a kid, there was a park there. There was just ramps that the home is. That's the yeah. thing. I'm glad that I have people to look up to when I was a kid. Because right. I remember being the little kid and that generation used to sell like flan in the streets. Mm-hmm. Flan for the dollar and you get money for the skate mm-hmm. park or raffles. Like a chair for a raffle, make more money. You start building ramps. They have a few ramps. So that generation kind of dies out. And I got in the place, so we're gonna replace them, and then we start doing the same thing. We create a non-profit organization with a friend of our, the dad of a, of a friend, Juanra, and uh, we create a non-profit, and we took over the the place, the actual place, because it was used to be a little scape, like bunch of ramps in the back, and uh, how you call this, like where they take care of old people when the old people don't have people to live a with. Nursing home. Yes, it was a nursing home. So yeah, I grew up with a lot of them, really? <laughs> yeah, in there, and they closed down that place, and we took over the building, and we fixed, we paint, we did the whole thing, and then we asked, we created a nonprofit, and we asked the city if we can have the place, you know, to take care of it. Said, yeah, go for it. 
So we took care of it and we bring it back to life. And we used to start doing organizing events, contests, events, and building more ramps and teaching kids how to skate there for hundred, like hundred years, <laughs> for like 10, 10, 15 years. And through that process, I learned how to do proposals for the city. And since we have a nonprofit organization with a good standing, so I submit a bunch of proposals. And I met somebody that worked in the federal department. And uh, so we submit this this design and all these, these prices, how to, to for build a skate park. And this guy that I met, because the city was like, no, it was politics. They wanna if they wanna build skaters because somebody then they're looking for votes, you know. And like yeah, yeah. you know how right. politics are. Yeah. But we jumped the rope and we went directly toward where they go to get the money. So we make a proposal and I make that person, and the person slipped that through there. They accepted through our for our nonprofit organization, you know. So but that money still had to go through the city. And they make the whole process of building the skater, the design of a. But we have everything, and that took years because there was a lot of politics involved. Right. So we had to fight for that money. The money's there. Anyhow, like, uh, I, I was in the process of me going to California, going a little bit ahead. But you know, the, the, everything stuck there. So I came back to, to Puerto Rico visiting, and they started the skate park without telling us. And I saw mm-hmm. the design was just two little ramps and a little ramp in the middle. <laughs> and I lost my mind. I said, hell no. <coughs> so, but, but I asked, I said, oh, what are you guys building here? Oh, can I see the design? Oh, I'm acting like I don't know anything about it. Mm-hmm. And I went straight to that guy. The federal department mm. guy, and I show him. He's like, "Well, they start the skate park, and this is the skate park they're building." He was like, "No, they cannot do that. This yeah. is federal money, right? Like that. There's a design for this, and so, there's the money." So, what do you think they're gonna like pocket a lot of that? Of money? course, it's yeah. classic oh, thing. Classic. That's classic. It happens here in America too. Yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it happens everywhere. I know. So I, I was like, yeah. "Well, we're gonna stop the project." I was like, "I don't mind if I have to chain myself in the middle and not move from there, but we're gonna stop this project." So we stopped the project. We fight the whole thing. They had to do a, a vista public, as they call it. They stopped the project and, and again, two more years of the process to mm-hmm. finally happen. And we, we didn't have enough money when that finally happened because I already spent money. But at the same time, a guy from Portland um, moved to Puerto Rico and he helped, he was one of the guys that built Ber- Burnside. And okay. he had his own company and he moved to Puerto Rico and stuff like that. So we got long together. Guy, you said? Huh? Port, port, uh, Portland. 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 From Burnside. Um, so he moved to Puerto Rico and. Uh, and we met up with him, and we got this ball rolling again, and he got the chance to be participate on the construction. So he won the thing, and we all worked for free because there was a lot of money. So we built this mass skate park. Like, <laughs> that's crazy. Everybody that, was, that's the skate park that was the like concrete, this setup. Oh, that, the concrete one. The concrete one. Oh, okay. So yeah. good. That, and that's yeah. like a huge, that's like a good skate park by any standards. Not yeah, like yeah. it's not like just oh, yeah. for that reason, yeah, but like gnarly. <laughs> if that was skate park was anywhere in the world, it would be like it's a world-class skate park. Yeah, yeah. Skate that? yeah I've been there. Yeah. A lot it's of people like go there. that. The park I'm is so legit. Pa- I, yeah, the park is like legit paradise. It's like yeah, it's in the mountains. You have the crazy view of like the ocean. Yeah. It, no, all the palm trees everywhere. It's like it's, it's unreal. Like when, you, when you think of like a Puerto Rican skate park, like on the beach, yeah, like it's, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's like unreal. It's, it's yeah, we, unreal. We, we're in the list. Really good photos we were in the list of the. Yeah, me and John. Yeah, we were John. in the list of five best uh, uh, skate parks locations in the world. No, yeah, really? Yeah, there's a bunch of skate from all the world. They show the Puerto Rico one outside. 100%. It was worth it fight to <laughs> stay there because they were trying to get us out. It was a mess. You had to fight for that. You have to fight for everything. You cannot sit down for anything in life. You cannot sit down wait for the miracle. It's not like that. You have, you want something, you make it happen, you stop and being you a little bitch, happen. and you push through. You know, you know it's you <laughs> pretty simple. That's how it works. Yeah, you have yeah. to make it happen. It is better like that. It feels better and it's, it feels, comes right. But you sit down and wait for the miracle, it's like, I hate when people just say that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, speaking of that, and I... I, I there's something I wanted to. Um, I noticed that you have a lot of interactions that would have with like a lot of other people in other sports. Oh, like, right, you, know, well, you yeah. deal with a lot of pro skateboarders. Yeah. You deal with a lot of pro. BMX like, how do you do you find it a, ch- a challenge to like be like, hey, this is what I do. This is my. Yeah. Well, know. but for me, it's pretty easy. Like for me, for example, like it's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> through many so many years, but I'm, I, I used to be. We used to have a bar at Woodward. Right. I was a bartender. Yep. So before any of the action sport people get to know what I'm doing, I'm the bartender there on Sundays and mm-hmm. other days of the week. <laughs> and so I met all these all the skaters and BMXers and you name it. And you know, we're interacting with the bartender, blah, blah, blah and play my music, the DJ, say DJ <laughs> at the same time, all the So we get a good interaction. You know, always through the night, you like, what do you do? So yeah, I'm up later. I'm in a skater and blah, blah, blah. And you see their faces kind of like that. Whoa. But they don't say shit, you know? <laughs> so we keep talking, and <laughs> next thing you know, they come to me, and like, I have this a lot of times. They come to me, they say, like, especially skateboarders, they're like, you guys have it so good right now. Because you guys are doing it because you love it, but you guys don't have anybody controlling what you guys are doing. 
You know what I mean? Like, and you guys still doing it. I think, I think he told me like Lizard King told me that. Oh, Lizard King's the homie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, a bunch of other ones. It's like, they re- they get it. They get yeah. it. You know, like, uh, as long as we keep doing how we're doing it, like, you know, keeping it through, man. You know how it is. Yeah. You keep it through. For and, sure. like, you know, like, if don't bring the vibe of people. Oh, people don't like me. Yeah. No, of course not. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you'll do what you love. and that, Be that, you. Be you. Yeah. Be you. Be, yeah, yeah. You know, oh, people don't like rollerbladers or whatever. No, well, you bringing that up. Right. Like, you just be, man. No one else brought that no, up. No, it's like, <laughs> not The confidence goes a long way. Yes. Right? It's confidence. Yeah. Just go out there and be another person. Like, be, you know, stay true. And that's it. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't have any, I don't ever had a, a problem like that. And I deal with a lot of them. Like, but, but, yeah. but, I, but I feel like you, you're like, one of the guys that bridges the gap really well. Yeah. Like, like, like people who do hate on blading, like, yeah. it's like, you know, I don't mean, I'm not going to name any names, but there, yeah. there are certainly like, players you can be like, oh, well, yeah. you know, they're, it's easier to, easier to make fun of them. Yeah. Like, yeah. because of whatever, but it, it, it seems like, yeah, yeah. you're, you're better at expressing yourself yeah. and, and bridging that gap. Yeah. And, it's basically this, like, I always said, like, if you don't respect yourself, nobody will. Yeah, of course. So if you're like, oh, I'm a free booter, you know, people hate, don't hate and I mean, of course they won't. Yeah, of course they got to But, yeah. you know, if you create with yourself and you know who you are, and it's just, it's just like, you don't have to be afraid of anything. You just go out there and do it. Like, not a science. Yeah. It's just like life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's up to you. Very yeah, black and white. Yeah. Black and white. If you're a kid with issues on you, go to the class and what's going to happen to you? Of course, you get picked up. You're going to get yeah. <laughs> It's the same thing with skating and same with everything in life. With everything. You go with confidence, you do it. Like, stay true to yourself. I don't know how hard is that. Like, come on, people. <laughs> <laughs> life lessons from Miguel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, so uh, you know, that, it's, it's things out there, but you know, it's up to you again. You know I mean? like, so you're you're always like a positive dude. Anybody who knows you knows it. that too. I mean, <laughs> you know. You know, from what I know, anyway, you're always like a positive dude. Mm-hmm. You're always like happy. Always like you know, yeah. everyone who follows you also, I feel like has the same vibe too. Yeah. And like, you recently had an injury <sighs> where you couldn't skate, and it was like, was I know it was painful for you. It was like painful for people like me to even look like because you would just post like, oh, I miss this. I can't wait to be back. Yeah. And like anybody knows you, that's like your life. You know, you yes. work at Woodward. You know that you totally. eat, sleep, yeah. breathe, blading. You know your whole life, yeah. and you love it so much. Like, yes. what were you doing to stay positive and confident during those? those it was times? hard. I have to accept it was hard, mm-hmm. but you know because it's hard for me because like since day one, I just, I know I love this. It's like a, vi- a medicine for me. My mom, you can talk. Ask my mom. Before skating, I was a, a problem child. I've been oh, through. Yeah. I've been through like me so too. many. You know what I mean, <laughs> right? I've been through so many different schools, mm-hmm. like fighting. I can. F- I fight anybody. I don't care. <laughs> Not really. Oh God. Oh my God. <laughs> I bet. I remember like thir- third grade fighting with big kids from high school. Guys from, from college, I don't care you who you size. are. In third grade, you were the size of the high school. Exactly, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm not afraid, and they don't know neither how young I am. But you want to bring some out, I, I, I blindfold. I was like, I'm sending it. Yeah, uh, and I have that energy fighting because you know went through crazy things when I came. My 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 dad from suicide. You had a lot like, of yeah, you know, yeah. all this stuff. All these crazy things in my life growing up. Like a lot, I have of, this, a lot of angst. A yeah. lot. So when I found skating, it was like level me out. Mm-hmm. You know, and helped me to put the whole thing. So skating reality of it now that I'm adult skating is a medicine you know it levels your serotonin on your brain it level it's like a, some sort of meditation when you really enjoy skating you can unplug from the world and totally. just go skating yep. and that's a blessing in life because we life is full of things too stressful you know you, <laughs> you guys know what I mean right? no, no, like, so you know and like if you, if you if you if you find that thing with skating and the, the enjoyment of no matter what will help you in life will shape you through life that's what happened with me with skating mm-hmm. like I, I couldn't i stopped skating i was like dealing with this non-skating life for for the surgery i was mm-hmm. like all right well buddy. explain the surgery first real quick just in case people don't know yeah. what happened to you uh basically um let me try and explain this this way basically i born with an incomplete spine mm-hmm. the last bone of my spine didn't know if it want to be hips or spine when i was a baby so he grew up it wrong. Make up the best spine. way to explain that. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> definitely part of me. <laughs> I, was like, I don't know anything. I just want to go through this. <laughs> so anyway, it, 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 we were born a little bit wrong. So a lot of my, like four plus of my disc, they're bulging. And I have pin, nerve pinch in the whole thing. And since every, all these years of skating, like everything was tilting and getting weird. But I've been doing... I was lucky enough that I found stretching and yoga very early in my life. 
So I've been doing that through my whole life because it's like if I don't do this, it hurts. You die, yeah. And I found out that very young, like 12, 13, I was like, I need to stretch, I need to jog, I need to do all this motion before skating. I knew my body was kind of weird, but I didn't accept it. I just keep going. Mm -hmm. So I did it all my life, you know, stretching and all the stuff. And then I got sick when, and, or a while ago and couldn't do it, so everything just froom. So, you know, so anyway, the, uh, the injury was four bulging discs, nerve damage down to my leg, and hips were tilting to the f right, right hip was tilting to the front and up. Hmm. So everything just shut down. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't put my shoes on. I couldn't put my clothes. I cannot lean forward. Scary. Like, you know the process. You remember going to LA, me sleeping on the floor, my legs up. I have a full process and yeah. and my stretching and stuff. But that when I got sick in January, it's a big flu all over California. You guys remember that? Mm. I got really sick. I got bronchitis and some other stuff. So I couldn't do my activities. I was just laying, laying on the floor in the bed and and everything just shut down I, oh my god that was like a month and a half so you having the flu kick started like you're a serious back yeah everything just went down. over for boom and then i called the doctors and tell what's going on and they did all this test and all that stuff and and, and i choose this surgery and i went for it and so yeah. what was the surgery the surgery basically like at least like two type, two surgeries in one because they were they were trying to do some crazy things on me fused and this and or this or that i said no no let's do the most basic thing we can do and and i work the rest with no but we want to do something really really good because we have to go there twice it's, like, it's all good i'll do the basic and i'll take care of the rest so basically what they did is that they they cut like two discs and they did something with my nerves i don't know it's the specific words of it and that's supposed to release a lot of my make everything kind of slightly getting back to normal mm -hmm. They're gonna. I'm gonna have an MRI on Wednesday. Wednesday when I go back to California, and they will see where is everything at. They still, I still have problems there, but a lot of things are getting better. But since I'm being really cautious, like anti-inflammatory diet, a lot of stretches, and this, this, and that, so you know, it's still there. I can do a lot of things, but I'm skating. It's a process. Yeah, but mm -hmm. it's like yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it was painful. Like I can't imagine. Wa like watching your progress like <laughs> online. It was like. <laughs> Damn, like I wish I could give you my back for like a day to skate, nah, you know. Like I, yeah. <laughs> sometimes I see people that barely know how to skate, they're hawking their bodies. I'm like, like yeah. fuck you. I <laughs> wish I wish I have a quarter of your lower back yeah. right now. Yeah. You just <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it's a process, you know. That's the thing, like we all gonna go through back pain. But the thing is we need to tell ourselves that we need to the older we get it's not that we're getting old, things are falling apart. That, no, it's that you have to put more effort yeah, on your, exactly. on your body. Yep. I tell other people all the time. Core too, exercise. Everyone says more, like they're old. Work. No. Yeah, everyone says they're old. You're getting lazy. You, yeah, you're lazy or not yep. active. Yep. Yes. You have to stay active. Stay if active. you skate, when you were younger, you skated yeah. seven, six, seven days a week. So your yeah. body was used to it. You were yeah. accustomed to it. You yep. slow down. You stop. You skate once a week, once every other week, yep. once you know, one, once a month. Yep. You do that one skating, it's going to beat you up so yeah. much more. Mm -hmm. It you so much worse. And the thing is like, your your body obviously you know it doesn't rebuild again fast so you have to do more exercise yeah. and stretch like for skating core exercise is key mm -hmm. we don't we all this year skating we hug our bodies we don't know where we put our weight our we, what muscles we use yeah it, skating is the core mm -hmm. we use the back a lot you gotta learn how to all these, use all these muscles get strong like like gymnastic people you see those those guys mm -hmm. oh yeah the yeah. core they can hug their bodies and spin and land because they got a core. Like yeah. got a core. <laughs> we need yeah. that. Just, they don't have beer bellies. Yeah, so yeah, you know what I mean. Like <laughs> we need to learn how to use our core and stuff like that, and, and stay healthy. Skating takes a lot from your body, more than any other sport. It is. It's it, hard. They, no, I'm not talking about the sport. It's you know, hard. Take, but skating is like a full body exit, full thing. It's not like you you working out your your, your like kandama no, <laughs> or like a skateboard <laughs> yeah. or tennis. You actually using your entire things. So you have to be very respectful of your body and, and take care of it even nico like you know you know my old i had my old yeah, roommate nico he's, he's an old bandmate he's a skateboarder he was yeah. like a really good skateboarder mm -hmm. we went to woodward one time and we stayed with you and he put on blades and he skated the mini for a yeah, while yeah, and he was like oh, the next day he was like yo i'm sore in such a different way yeah. like and he's like that's a, crazy i didn't know yeah, no he's like such a ripper skateboarder but like on the on the blades he was like yo this is different he's yeah, like yeah. i'm so like this is hard mm -hmm. it's phys it, it because like skateboarding is like a uh, waist down a lot mm -hmm. you know yeah, yeah, yeah. so much and bikes is the muscles and, and their arms a yeah, lot it, you know? yeah 
skating is a full it's body a full exercise body. you better you better t- you, not only just skating there's gonna be a moment you have to do exercise to mm-hmm. keep everything in shape yeah mm-hmm. it's actually like you know it's like a sport it's, yeah it's, actually a sport. it's like it's like a heavy sport to your body so you have to take care of it and you skate forever you know it's a, it's a healthy exercise even skating couple blocks is you see it mm-hmm. it's tough yeah it's, it's good so you can, if you stay in shape mm-hmm. it's good but you yeah. have to be consistent on top of it you know totally. you want to enjoy this all the way to the <laughs> <laughs> speaking of that real quick yeah. i'm wearing your blader oh, gang collaboration crazy. shirt shout out blader gang top. shout out, shout out, yeah, yeah, shout out you, yeah that's crazy um want to explain a little bit about the shirt and what it what it means yeah well that came out of nowhere Ira hit me up dude um, got this idea, this, this, and that, and he sent me the design. Broom. And I was like, whoa. Mm-hmm. I was like, mind blow. Yeah, we want to do a t shirt and this and stuff, and blah, blah. I was like, mind blow, because I never, you know, I never had a chance to have any pro anything, any right. shirt, any, yeah. you know, any, any of that. And I was like, whoa. But, and right there, it pops on my mind. Even though you should. <laughs> you, you should know, have multiple a lo- pro. A, a lot of us I should. Really. <laughs> There's a lot of great and amazing skaters. But like, you should. <laughs> let, 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 let it be one day what happened what happened you know so no no my, my, that never be my priority in yeah. life right um, yeah it said, but, so he showed me that design and I was like whoa and, and right there it was like this is in my, my mind was like this is the perfect time to actually try to do this something that I've been trying to do all my like the last 10 years it's like I want to have something for the kids so the kids can now be able to still dream like we did because mm-hmm. there's no nerd anymore you know, you guys, when we were kids, we were like, I want to film, I want to save for this company, I want to turn pro for this. I mm-hmm. There were options to to push to the next level. Mm-hmm. We don't have that much for the kids these days. Sure. So I was like, I want to start some little something to give something to the kids so they can be like stoked, you know, and like, and push themselves, you know, because the reality of it is that, you know, you, you need that. You know? <laughs> Even yeah, though you course. love it, but you need that flame. Yeah. So I, was like, I need to try to figure this out. So I was like, all right, you give me this chance to this. I want I want to create I know I always say I want to create a brand but I don't want to create a brand I want to create something I don't know about so I came with this idea like I have on my past of nonprofit things you know with the nonprofit in Puerto Rico so I was like let me try to do something so the money we the 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 money we raise and whatever I'm gonna win from this shirt I want to do be part of this project Caminos I want to be that money be there and I'm gonna put some money on it too you know I'll have like a grand left. From my back surgery, when I mean, Daffy did the go found me, mm-hmm. I pay all my bills and I have a, 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 a grand, a thousand bucks, one zero, three zeros? Yeah, <laughs> a thousand. A thousand? Mm-hmm. So I have a thousand left that I have as I, I need to do something for skating with this extra money because it's coming from skating. <laughs> one and three zeros? I fought mil, mil dollars, cabrón. <laughs> <laughs> I fought, I'm really bad at numbers in English, believe it or not. I'm horrible. <laughs> Mil dollars, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I was away. <laughs> so I got that money extra, and plus what we make from this T-shirt, we will start this project called Caminos, and it's like a non-profit. It's a project, you know, and we're gonna help. My goal is to be able to see kids that are really hungry for this, and be maybe like a kid with his homies that really wants to film a video or something like that. Mm-hmm. They're young and they're hungry, like you know, you know, guys want to talk. You know, imagine yeah. be able to give them a video camera. Mm-hmm. A cool video camera so they can have it. Or maybe there's this kid in in France that is really good in con- contests. He wants to be able to come to Blake Cup one day, one mm-hmm. year. You know, I would love to with that That's money. It. I want to be able to help them travel here, probably will be with his parents. You know, or whatever it is like. Okay, paying. So, so like, what are the what are the details of the contest? Maybe like like, like how maybe. does it? How I gonna ke- get to those kids? Yeah. Well, I start on Instagram now, and you know how everything's on Instagram. I won't start seeing. I'm always through Instagram searching for kids that really. You just ripping. look for people. Oh yeah, all the mm-hmm. time. But they will be those hungry kids. They will be like, basically, this will be like the next sponsor me tape world. Mm-hmm. They will send you information about themselves, and they wanna mm-hmm. they wanna do in life that is skating. Sense. That makes sense. It's kind of like Make a Wish Foundation for kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, I wanna see who's hungry. Yeah, like you know what it is to be hungry. Course, you both yeah. are, you know totally. what. Yeah. Totally. So I wanna be. I wanna see that 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 en- 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 energy in those be. kids. To reach, reach to people, you know, if they reach to me, I will do what I can. I've been mm-hmm. doing this all my life, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. well, I want to search for those kids that are hungry. We're like, okay, we can help you to find wheels for you, for example, a pair mm-hmm. of skates. May help me help you travel all the way to California, experience the California thing, mm-hmm. or help you guys with a camera. All th- it's not a structure yet. It's that all depends. Skating it's, is very it's basically an idea that like an gives idea. them it's a the project, you know, to gives kids something to, like to push toward. Yes, and exactly. And it so ha- have you acted on this yet or are you still like the no this is just happened that? the teacher just happened I didn't supposed to start this in, I don't even know I've been mm-hmm. thinking of it for so many years but since this opportunity came to me mm-hmm. having a t-shirt with my name I was like 
I want to make sure I'm doing this for this. Mm -hmm. So I talked to Peter. I said, yeah, hell yeah, whatever we make, we put it to, to that money and we start a foundation. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're doing with the t-shirt. You know? It's a good way to help raise money for it too. You can yeah. keep doing this also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I want to start with the Caminos. I want to start, it's supposed to be a top secret, but I want to start doing t-shirts and patches and really weird random stuff mm -hmm. to keep adding to that, the, yeah, the, yeah. That, the money, to raise more money. Because it's a fundraising. It's a fundraising. So mm -hmm. like, hopefully once a year, we choose these four kids that we're going to help in this, this, and that. Cool. Oh, so, like, so it's kind of like a little little company now. It's like a little company mm -hmm. project type deal. Like yeah. Mostly focused on kids or, or people that they need a hand. You but, know? But, but, and it's but all but over the world. All over the world. All mm -hmm. over the world. Like, it doesn't matter where you're from. We figure out the way we can help you to take it to the top mm -hmm. you know what I mean? <laughs> Straight such a great the, thing so you know what i mean like this is that reminds me of those kids in like those uh, i forget the name the kids in like africa that are skating a lot yes. with like all those rec blades there and those kids have like so much heart mm -hmm. and love for blading and yeah. it's like it's so insane to see that yeah because like, i guess we were all there one day but they're like they're far yeah uh, they, they don't have the information that we did exactly and, and, not, and not just them a lot of the new generation kids that even though they have aggressive skates they don't know anything about skating yeah and those kids are even worse. They're, mm. they're, they're deeper there. They don't mm. know anything. Mm -hmm. So this group that what I'm doing right now is to be able to have all those types of kids to be able to get more into it. It will be for information. It will be for traveling. It will be for camera, wheels, you name it. Mm -hmm. There's not a specific way. It all depends on your situation or what you want to get into skating for. Mm -hmm. You know, that's kind of what it is. So it's very abstract. It's not like a specific something. something new. Mm -hmm. And such a great cause we need more more fundraising really stuff like do. that yeah it's up to us and only us yeah yeah exactly you know what i mean so no one else is gonna do it for us no, no will. one else no will and yeah. we have to do that with skating because we always sit down waiting for the miracle mm -hmm. and yeah. there will be companies that will see us going up and it'll be like somebody out of nowhere well, it'll you, be it'll be the second solomon show up here i am yeah. well, this you, corporate you, guy i i think i think blading had it really easy in the beginning too easy yeah. in, so, no so, oh yeah. my god in, 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 in the early days like everything the, came to yeah, us yeah like everything just came so, so i think a lot of people kick back now because of like what the they grew up on other that. pros did like yeah, yeah exactly they grew they, up they, on they that. just like but yeah you gotta make it now you, you gotta you gotta be good at skating you gotta yeah. do whatever and you have to put the yeah, work yeah. to create something and, and you see a lot of people a lot of us later we're always like oh can't wait till they they come back you know what i mean like those companies it's like no they're not you know, coming back you know, <laughs> and if they will they will be back in their terms yeah, and yeah, we cannot do yeah. that again exactly. if they're coming back they have to come back in our terms because uh -huh. mm -hmm. the, if they come in their terms they, they will come and go the same way mm -hmm. sales go up they will be there yeah. sales are a little go they're like Chung. like yeah. you're talking about like the Sol solomon solomon and, and you name some other ones mm -hmm. they, they, they they put their nose and went yeah. back outside yeah, yeah. You know totally. what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. So we need to make sure we create our thing and take care of our own little subculture and so yeah. make it strong and powerful and, and do a lot of collaborations and make it strong and solid. So when that money comes here, we're prepared for it. Collaboration is key too. It's key. Working with other people. Yeah, and if they like come back. Getting, reaching outside of skating is huge. Like, yeah. like that, that's something that like, if I can look towards skateboarders, what they do, I'm like, wow, they do that really well. Mm -hmm. They know how to like, get their stuff in like music and these other things like yeah. they, they cross collaborate yeah, a lot but they stick know? together yeah no, that's the thing they, they collaborate do. with each other and they find those platforms mm -hmm. boom 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 and they're a group of soldiers da, 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 to create this monster in us we had that group of people that were back in the day waiting for the miracle and they have the ones that we never run away and we know that it's up to us and only us totally. you know everybody have to be on the same page it's up to us and only us to take this to the top there you go. <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell like where people buy like the shirt, how they support Caminos. Uh, the t-shirt? Oh, um, yeah. Not for Caminos, it's nothing yet. You're out there, but right but now you can, you can do it with through Blader Gang. Yes. BladerGat.com. You got the uh, To The Top t-shirt. Mm -hmm. And we should start raising money. Yeah. A lot of people are buying it. I'll put, a, I'll put a link in the description too yeah, for yeah. The, the YouTube video. Yeah. People buy it. So yeah, hopefully as of now, this is the only way to support yeah, yeah. Caminos. Yeah. Okay, so cool. for now, my goal is to hopefully before Blake up, We'll be able to have something about Caminos. It'll mm -hmm. be pure. Like you buy this, you get it straight there, and like we start something. And trying to, I'm um, trying to be 100% on the Blading Cup Kids event. I'm trying to run this whole thing, have a is, good is prize. Is there a Blading Cup Kids event? Of course. You never seen it, <laughs> dude. It's, we got we, last year. We have like like almost 10 kids. No, I didn't. Did you know that? I yeah, know. and that's a kid. Okay, so you see? Oh, there's the ladies, the I'm kids. I'm because I'm in the same shoes as you. Yeah. 
<laughs> we got some really good kids. I knew kids. there was a ladies one, and I know there wasn't like a OG one. I knew there was a ladies. Yeah, there's a ladies. That's the kids. Like uh, six. How, like, how long is the kids? Seven, going? Seventeen and under, I think it is. Or eighteen right. and under, and then we have the OGs. Then we have the open division, and we have the pros. If I think. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm trying to get the kids one and be able to start my thing like the the our thing there, the Caminos thing. It's like start helping from there and then met me trying to go to winter class and do the same so talk, talk, oh, nice. talking with Jojo and just to be able like it's up to us only us to get those kids hungry yeah mm-hmm. you want you guys want to see like Hurricane Topsail and 20 foot drop rails mm-hmm. it's that generation we start need to there, yeah. we, we only want to see that if we get that those kids hungry you know I, I, you know? <laughs> I, 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 t- I totally noticed that like about what you do you you're like spending a lot of time cultivating the future generation try like whether it's at like Woodward camps or yeah, whether yeah. it's you know, the Blade Cup. I didn't know. We, 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 you know. <laughs> now all you guys know. <laughs> no, but, but uh, yeah, you, you've been really hands-on with that for a you long time. To. That's the future. Yeah. There's no future without, without those kids. What's, but, 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 you know, even though we all know we need to do it, like, what sparked you into getting that? Like, what, the, just the need for it's, it? Or? I don't know. It's always been there for me, for yeah. example, since the skate park. I knew that the only way... For example, in Puerto Rico, we're all great street skaters, you know? Mm-hmm. But if we don't have ramps, all great. <laughs> no, all we great. all we all amazing all street skaters. skaters. <laughs> you know what I mean? Since the beginning. But we didn't even know how to go over a spine. Uh-huh. There was nothing I was there. that same way. You know I, was, I, mean? I was hitting handrails and then I, for three years, and then I, I tried to drop in on a mini ramp, and I fell flat on my face. There you go. Like, wow, how do you yeah. do that? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You know exactly what I mean? We didn't have none of that. So I, I, uh, that's when I started a nonprofit. Build a skate park so we'll be able to have something for the crew, and everybody can m- move forward, you know? So the same thing. I, feel, I always feel re- like it's up, be responsible for like make sure there's a future, and the only future is to do things. So I always see in skating the same things. Like uh, we, it, you know, we we need, we need to t- make this moving and create this culture get stronger and stronger, and it's up to making sure the one behind have it easier than us, so they can take it to the next, to the next, to the next level. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like, I don't know. It's common sense for me mm-hmm. that. You know, I, I love skating. I get trapped on my skating, having fun, and just like, woo get high on life, you yeah, know, and skating. Totally, yeah. But I always have that in my mind that, you know, I am always feel very, like, I don't know, it's a natural thing. I feel responsible. Like, I don't know, like, I love seeing the next kid just sending it and ripping, you know what I mean? Because they remind me of us. You know, it's pretty sick. You know, it's like, you know, it's really hard to, like, you know, a lot of kids are getting very talented, but they have nowhere to go. It's just like musicians; they get really good at mus- music, and they stay in the little town, and they they die away. You right. know, like mm-hmm. we need to create this thing to dream, so they can go there. And like, so I was, I don't know, I forgot the question. That's perfect. Everyone, everyone should just support Caminos and just keep an eye out for it because yeah, yeah. more things are coming. It's still in the yeah, beginning yeah. stages right now, but this yeah. seems like something that everybody in the community should support. Totally. Yeah, yeah. And just keep an eye out for it in the future, yeah, right? Keep an eye out yes. for yeah, Caminos. Yeah. 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 Um, I want to move on to some of the community questions because right. this might we we got into like a few conversations last night this one might touch on that uh thrifted skates asked uh with so much traveling over the years do you have any crazy tour stories or bad funny <laughs> things that happen on the road i know we talked about a funny story yesterday about the, the the car the wheel the tire whatever. oh <laughs> but that's too intense for it's this too intense i don't want to go to jail you're not gonna go to jail. Uh, so, all right, all right. So, if you, don't, if, you, if you don't want to talk about that, anything along those lines, because you were saying like yeah. all the stuff you used to do, like as as a kid, which all of us like have done yeah, yeah, things yeah. like that. Is there anything you could think of like that? I know, I know John came up with that one. I thought, I thought that was pretty funny too. That was but. pretty intense. Um, things like that in the road. I don't know. Like lately, I don't know, the years before. I don't know. We got too many crazy ones. I don't know. I got there's so many good experiences in the road. Exactly. Yeah. You know, I know it's, I mean? it's hard to pick one. We just yeah. had that one last night that I, I that stood out in my mind because you don't want to talk about. It. I try to come over. I don't think it's that but, bad. But but basically like a. <laughs> I'll, let me do something. Say something really quick. I think everybody out there, like bladers in the world, like should experience going out. Don't. Like, I know your beautiful town is great and everything, but. If you had the chance to, like, if you really love skating and you really want skating to be part of your life, get out there. Mm-hmm. Go through the experience. You know what I mean? That's, and that's the only way. Like, that's the best way. That's one of the biggest blessings in life, just the experience. But mm-hmm. talking about myself, I don't know. That one with the tire is uh, that's pretty good. It's like, yeah. You got to do what you got to do. You know what I mean? I'm so pissed because I don't know this story. Well, I guess so. I guess It'll so. be all right. You can tell it. You can tell it. Uh, anyway, it, it's, not, yeah. it's not necessarily directly skating related, but it's just I, like a funny yeah. story. I'm not going to say where it was or okay. whatever. Yeah. But I say, no, yeah. we were a bunch of us, you know, a bunch of the New York homies in Puerto Rico or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, we, we got a, a, our car broke down. No, it broke down. Sorry. We got a crazy, our tire just got destroyed, tire, right? And we don't have an extra tire. So we were like, okay, we just got to find a car with a similar tire and jacked it up 
take the wheel, put it in our car, and keep going. So we found that in a house, yeah. <laughs> in an apartment building. Yes. And uh, the boys send it, you know, and put it in the car, and <laughs> put it together, boom, 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 boom. and we turn on the car, we start leaving, we're like, wait, the jack. So we came back to the house, park in front of it, take the car down, blong to the ground, take Jack, Jack put in the car, take it later, and we just continue partying and skating. <laughs> How else were you going to skate? That car was like this. How else are you going to skate around the island, right? You got to You got it. She says, go, let's get it, dude. It's the time. Like, it's and, that's, time. and that's fucked up because that, that happens like on a daily basis, like everywhere. But like, yeah. that guy had a rough day, though. Oh, yeah, definitely. That, that guy, he wake up in the morning, like, you woke up, woke up, didn't like, even break his car, right? Yeah, Usually you break your car when you do that. Yeah. So it's on bricks, you just drop this right it's so true. it definitely ruined like the control Some arm thing, the suspension yeah. everything it wasn't ever. me <laughs> I was the guy went to his morning coffee he went to his car he started he started up he's he like wait it's a little sideways like, oh no he <laughs> went a little sideways this car <laughs> he was like that <laughs> <laughs> he knew it like from a mile oh, away oh my God. <laughs> yeah that was bad but you know it's the young kids you know like you don't do that at home uh-huh. it's just you know the passion is too high <laughs> <laughs> the passion is so strong. Yeah, that's no, how I you take it to D to D. I understand. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> you had to get over it. You know? I don't know what it is. When I was a young kid, I, I was so bad too. Yeah. yeah, I don't know what it was. Yeah, uh, something was just like be bad. Yeah. Well, there was Back no here. there was no consequences when you were yeah. a kid. That's yeah. what it was. Yeah. There's no consequences. Yeah. We get slapped and wrist. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Being the road, you're older. Is you get arrested. You yeah. do whatever. It's all there. Yeah. Yeah. I miss the road a lot. I used to be more in the road. Like I remember contests back in the day, meeting up with homies. I always remember a bunch of things from yesterday with Oli. Sure, I remember every time I go to an essay, meet up with Oli. With Oli? They go party. Finding girls, it's going around. Yeah. <laughs> you and Ollie Short, I'm just trying to picture that crew hanging out. It's like, <laughs> yeah. Dude. I so remember in England, we did some fun amazing. things. I still in touch with girls in England. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. Hanging out with Ollie in, in NAS events. Of course. And, uh-huh. I miss those days. You're Puerto Rican, they probably love you so yeah, much. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I love them. The past I love them. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! So the girl's trying to get back to England. <laughs> I do, I do, I do. Actually, I, I was trying to go find me after this episode. Yeah. France yeah. too. France, <laughs> France is beautiful. I you gotta get, yeah. get Miguel to England. <laughs> yeah. I, I need to go to England. Actually, I love it there. Straight up, summer. All right. Anyway, you guys watching you this episode. <laughs> get in contact with Miguel. Get him to England. Yeah. Let's get Miguel to England. And uh, Miguel Camina. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Cut that. <laughs> oh my God. Talk to him. Uh, Aaron Schultz asked, we were talking about him before, about uh, Jose Cuervo. Like, what's it? Do you know anything about him now? What's going yeah, on? He, with called him? Me, he called me actually like two weeks ago. He oh, called me out of, out of nowhere. What's he up to? He's in LA. He he's a firefighter. Right? Yeah. yeah, he's in LA. He's a, I think he'll still be a firefighter. Oh, and really? he he sell houses. How do you call that? Like people that sell real estate. Agent. Real estate. He's real estate. He's doing really well. Very disconnected from skating. But he still kind of follow it, and uh, but not really. <laughs> but he was asking about thing, a lot of things about skating because he's listening to this kind of podcast. Mm-hmm. And he's like, oh, so John started his own company, and he started telling me all these things that he didn't know about skating. He's like, yeah, well, he's been around forever. He did, he started realizing a lot of things, you know, about skating. Like we were talking a minute ago about yeah. skating. It's up to us only us. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's he actually wants to start skating again. Really? There you go. Yes, he's like, yeah, this is feels so right. This is so epic. Like he's so proud of skating. That's and where awesome. is that? And we were talking about like, like skating both ways and how natural it is nowadays to see like Soshiro yesterday. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, yeah. It's both ways. Going full, full shoulders, full cap. No, many people know, but the mm-hmm. ones they know, they know. The ones they know, know. They know the level. How hard that is. How hard yeah. it is. And Jose was one of the first one with full KGs, both ways, both shoulders. Yeah. You know, like mm-hmm. crazy things on handrails. And I start telling all these things. He start like so stoked and it's like yeah man i wish christian was here too like yeah you know, he was put so much effort in R. that R. too christian. you know what i mean was like the, sure. yeah like the PR so, crew is strong the passion yeah, yeah. well it's, yeah yeah but yeah he, great guy, christian yeah. is still good i mean i'm sorry christian, christian is completely good actually he's yeah. up there like watching us right now super stoked saying fuck yeah dude so stoked. Oh, yeah. it's stoked <laughs> it's like so you gotta stoked. do a switch now it's so yeah. <laughs> it's so, it's so good like you did crew like everyone out of puerto rico i don't know about by what is it about you puerto ricans you guys all have such good style why are they all so good <laughs> yeah you guys are all so good we, i think we were talking about this like a few weeks ago like you guys are all so good it's you guys all had such good style yeah and you could tell like a, like you could tell like the japanese skaters like the way they skate you could tell a puerto yep. rican skater totally. yeah. like 
what was that? There was that? not it's one Puerto Rican with bad style. Yeah, what was there that? There was not one. You know, you, know, you guys know what the Fania and the salsa, Fania all star, the salsa, you know. You <laughs> is know, that what it is? You gotta have the it's, rhythm and you gotta flow. Obviously, it's the passion. You know, the passion and the salsa. You know, take the one, two, three. You take that to the street. It's a beautiful culture and I think it's had to do a lot with like the the passion, how like the the how you approach life in Puerto Rico, the island, and how we we Puerto Rico has been through so much gnarly shit. So much shit. But we always smiling. You know, this last year again. Tough like, people. Tough people. Tough, you know, it's a culture. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, yeah, Puerto Rico is like over 700 year old land. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like part of Spain from the past and Tainos and then part of America. So we've been through a lot. We're still going through our shit. Totally. And that's yeah. in the culture, yeah. how you see life and you're like, it's getting. You see here in the in the the, uh, the Puerto Rican culture here in New York. Oh yeah. You know what I mean. You see that passion. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah. Like, New York and Puerto Rico are like this. Puerto Rican yeah, pride yeah. is the like Ghetto brothers crazy. and uh, like, <laughs> yeah. you know. Also Puerto Ricans. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. Puerto like, Rican pride is strong. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I'm married to a Puerto Rican. There she is. Oh, you know. <laughs> married to a Puerto Rican. You know, there's, so, there's there's a lot of passion in that. We got the parade. I don't know if they have that in L. A. I don't, they think trying, they, they they doing, trying, I don't think they have it. No, they don't. They have something in Bakersfield. It's too wild. Do they have one? There's they a have a Bakersfield, like a little, Bakersfield? yeah, Bakersfield. No, that, that's what I read the other day. How many people showed up? It's probably like, yeah. Because <laughs> I'm working. Those one, it's one car. Four it's people. One car. <laughs> yeah. There's no many of us over there. Yeah. There's like four there. Puerto Ricans and like a bunch of Mexicans like, yeah, that's cool. That's cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> this but it, you, know, we're very, you know how we party. Totally. We get anybody to get. It doesn't matter. I would love to see the Puerto Rican they parade in Bakersfield. Yeah. That, I heard it's like a day or something. Like a day. I need to find out. It's not like a parade like here. Never, ever. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. Like you said, it's like a car. Yeah, <laughs> it's a car. car with a big flag a on the hood. Flag. Yeah. It's, a, it's a domino table. <laughs> domino Pinchos t- right there. Oh, Pinchos. And, and Bacardi, <laughs> domino table. It's right. in the middle of the street. I don't care. It's all good. Doesn't that, matter. That's and, so- and, and, <laughs> all, all the white people walking by like, what's going on? They're like, you What's haven't that? heard it? It's the Puerto Rican day, bro. Right? <laughs> and when Puerto white girls in, in the white girls see that's here, oh, the yeah. salsa, start yeah, right. moving. You know, it's a party. Good yeah, time. Yeah, we saw, I was in uh, Helsinki. Puerto Rican people know how to have a good time. Yeah. I, totally. I was in Helsinki and they had like a uh, random, what was it like? It was Cuban actually, but they were like doing like salsa dancing, or whatever. Mm-hmm. And it was just weird seeing all these like Finnish and Helsinki people like trying to dance salsa. <laughs> yeah. It was really embarrassing. Yeah. But yeah, I guess they were the, the, the culture like went that far. They're, they're, they're yeah. in Finland. They're not rhythmically inclined. No, nowhere no. near. No, we heard, we heard the music. We're like, What's going on? And like we finally found what was going on. And they were like dancing. It was like it was a mess. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, dancing. Music so is sloppy. life, man. Music is. Alive. I'm just trying to think about Finnish people dancing like Cuban style, and it's just just like, really yeah. really tall and well, like. <laughs> Oh my god! Um, Davy came out of the woodworks. Davy Blair. Davy Blair. Yeah. Wow, yeah. my dude! <laughs> uh, shout out Davy Blair. Out Davey Davey Blair. Blair. <laughs> oh my god, these guys. So uh, what's the best part about working at Woodward? The best. So you've been at Woodward for a long time, yeah, right? How long? Like, how many years have you been? Maybe at Woodward Eleven, twelve years old. Years that long? Ago. I didn't even know that long. Yeah, it would be like a back and forth thing because I was taking care of some things in Puerto Rico mm-hmm. and try to travel, yeah, yeah. my skating, come back, work there, help Richie and Pam and get involved. So it's been like a twelve. Is that years. like the start? Like how long has Woodward West been there? Oh, uh, like fifteen years. Oh, so you're almost like the beginning. Yeah, I was there for the beginning just for a meeting nothing to do with camp uh-huh and it was when the olympics start mm-hmm. talking about action sports oh, okay yeah. I mean. but wasn't there but then i went there just to visit you know it was like 12 years ago probably and, and what's, I was, like, what's, what's your favorite thing that you learned like over the years like what makes it what keeps you around i guess it, it always been since the beginning it's always has uh, since the beginning is have something for their pl- that place it's, it's just the only it's the, actually the last place in the united states that is so big like a we get to the masses like that skating still there mm-hmm. there's no x games there's no this we're not in, in any other event we're not anywhere else but the only place that is big like that is the, the, you know as wood were big mm-hmm. they have skating is there wow. you know that's i feel like a big responsibility to be there and i love it too so you know we still got a chance even though we don't have kids like thousands of kids like other sports they still love us that's something we really need to realize that we still have woodwork to offer to the kids and adults. Totally. You know what I mean? So that's the last place that have skating. I want to make sure we keep that bond. You know, and I know have, East doesn't have it anymore, right? No, they yeah, don't. How does, yeah. But it will be back one day, like, hopefully. Yeah, one day, hopefully. For sure. Um, yeah. It's so just the numbers. East doesn't have bleeding at all. How, how, how many like students go to, or kids go this to This last West time, we only players? have one week of skating with bleeding, and then we have 18 kids. And the, the, the boss over there, the new boss, was like, tripping because she realized that all these years that we don't we, inline sk- like skating is not even in the website if you try to register as a blader even over west yeah yeah for years and we don't have we have zero dollars for marketing wow in the last eight years or more 
And she realized that we keep the numbers, even they're small, we don't let those numbers drop. Mm -hmm. We keep 18, maybe a little more, a little, two more, two less. But we keep the numbers with zero investment. And they were like, whoa. Like, so basically, like, in, other, in other words, like, how do you guys survive this? Mm -hmm. You've got no support. You know, the passion is high. Right. So <laughs> when, with zero dollars advertising, they still maintain the maintain same numbers. The numbers. If they advertise, it would just be higher. It'd be insane. Right? So I talked to the boss, and they were like, yeah, we definitely wants to try to get involved just add it to the brochure and, and, or and, whatever and, and, yeah, it is and i you know? told them too like like if the money of marketing our marketing is completely different than the other action sports marketing we are a different culture like skating is a different culture we you, you don't promote this in the x game or sample nobody's gonna yeah. you know you gotta go to the core so i'm trying to get them realize that you know to believe in skating they, mm -hmm. they're really down they always believe you know so yeah it's pretty good like hopefully in the next couple of years we'll to see we'll see an increase because i know a lot of skiers kids are actually blading the off-season yeah, training it makes sense and they're actually getting into it because ski is, is turning into a blading new I, schoolers are you seen those no no we not thing just like i heard some stories like that some like pro skiers or like yeah yeah like, yeah, yeah you know, shima told I you like that. Stuff, yeah, yeah 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 and uh so like now the kids are actually digging blading because it's so freestyle and no like zero fucks giving it's just going mm -hmm. kids are liking that mm -hmm. so a lot of the skier kids are trying this and then also uh, red bull crash ice yeah it's like they all they train on blades. They train on blades. So. Yeah, and those that is sick, those though. hockey guys and all those guys, they're like. Do you they're not want to try that? Pretty wild. You need. To, yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> no, it's up. Okay. Right. I mean, I'm not against. I, I would try it. I don't have like an urge to do it. No. Yeah. I guess you really need to okay. be like, really good at, at ice skate. But they 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 realizing that they realize that skating is sick. You know, that it's that this big oh, blank canvas that is for blading. You know, right. right. So it's beautiful. So, so yeah, I, I'm, I dig being woodwork also because. You get the sport exposed to hundreds of kids each week in the summer, and a lot of people from all the diff different action sports. You know, a lot of pros from all different sports go there, and they they see blading and the right people blading. They're like, "Wow, mm -hmm. I have a beautiful opportunity to be yeah. there and be able to keep representing blading." Mm -hmm. You know, and so like, th th this is actually a perfect segue to <clears throat> to this question. What do you think is the biggest challenge for blading, How, from keeping it grow? To keeping it grow, um. There's no challenge, I think. It is daunting there, but it's again, it's up to us and only us to make sure to keep believing in what we're doing. And we all swim to the north that we want to go. Always to the, <laughs> always to the top again, you know? So it's like, like there, there's challenge, yeah, but the beautiful thing about challenges is that that, that, that gives you more drive, you know, more and more. That, that actually creates a culture even stronger when you have difficulties like that. And those times are the ones that create the beauty yeah. and the essence of this. But, but but what do you think the challenge is? Like, do you think the challenge is other people against us, or is it us in front of ourselves? It's up to us to stand up for ourselves, it's, just it's like the black people and gay community. And everybody yeah. will like say like, "I'm doing." Yeah. Like we, you know, what I mean, it's up, you know, again, it's up to us and only us to to, to represent ourselves correctly and stop being a bitch. Mm -hmm. You know, it's keep that's doing real. The, yeah, yeah, like, yeah right. doing things that's like this. Shit. That's it. Just be, like I said before, we that's start where you talking. That's Woodward, huh? Yeah, don't yeah. be a bitch. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, tell those kids. I teach. I teach <laughs> kids. Them up. Step one. Yeah. Don't be a bitch. <laughs> I teach. Your knees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I teach the kids how to like skating, basically all the basic foundation of skating and all this stuff. And but I teach them that too. We show up in the skateboard in a little park. It's full of people. This is a class now. We're gonna get involved here. We're gonna be around everybody. You know, mm -hmm. be afraid. And it works, and they teach them something to take home. That's more. That's, like, that's also like a life lesson kind of thing too. Like yeah, you should carry like that to everything you in, do in life. Yeah, that's something that I like about skating. That yeah, it translates right well yeah. into our sport. Right though. now, the kids are skating right now are developing something that a lot of other places are not be able to develop with, like dealing with people in the street the way that we're dealing with. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I, like the kids are skating right now. There, you you guys are fucking rad because mm -hmm. you are actually dealing with something very unique. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like. Totally. It's, I always thought about that too. Like times. kids who skate now, like I, like when I was a kid, it was everyone was doing it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everyone was on skates. Yeah. Like kids now that they gotta have like the biggest balls. Because it's like it's so rad. They're not being influenced like how uh -huh. we were. Uh -huh. Like we, we, it was everywhere. Yeah, like you know, yeah. like if I was skating down the street, like kids who never even put a pair of skates on, they're like, "Yo, do a misty flip." Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. everyone knew yeah, it was. Yeah, it was yeah. like. It tied into the culture a yep. lot no, but not. but now like yeah if you see a kid skating like he's got to be a, a unique kid because yeah. it's, that influence isn't there and give you a personality and how to deal with like the outside world because you know how divided this world is nowadays oh, yeah. it's crazy so oh, yeah. those kids are gonna take something it's so sick, <laughs> like, so sick. You know? beautiful I don't know uh, Christopher Rosado Sanchez says 
Uh, what are your plans for the Puerto Rican blading community? Like, I know you're trying to make the whole thing grow. Is there anything in particular in Puerto Rico that you're trying to do? Like how you're working with the nonprofits yeah. back in the day? Is this there is anything? from Christopher Rosado Sanchez, too. Gotcha. Yeah. So that. he might be Puerto Rican. Yeah, I, don't know. Yeah, I think I, yeah, I think, yeah, I think I know that. that sounds very familiar. <laughs> yeah. Um, back in the day, I used to do a lot for skating. Like, I remember doing like uh, ASA amateurs around the island, taking the best kids to California to compete the ASA amateur, then Monster of Roll with Chris Edwards. We did a lot of things like competition with the knees, work with NYTA, all that stuff. I would love to keep doing more things in Puerto Rico right now, like back then. But the thing is, like, if we don't make the the skating core get strong, we are not offering anything to the kids for the future. So that's one of the main reasons I moved to California is to be able to be involved with like the AIL with Richie, Woodward, be involved with Julio with Blading Cup, and you know, all these other projects. Because you know, it, I cannot do anything in Puerto Rico to make the sport grow if we don't have something to offer. Mm -hmm. I do some things in Puerto Rico, like once a year we go there, we film that thing, Hermanos, that is yeah. coming really mm -hmm. soon, and it's gonna be pretty epic. That's gonna be awesome. Yeah, amazing. Oh. So we're trying to go back to the, oh, sorry, Ivan, we'll talk about it later. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> yeah, we, we, we have some plans. I have some plans, we gotta make sure we got some things solid in the all, or, all over, and we, we continue doing that. I would love to do a lot more things over there, like from going to school to schools, yeah, do, like, I, I feel like Puerto Rico would be an easier place to do that yes, than in the States. Same thing with like how John was talking about he wants to bring with the IMIT a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like Puerto Rico is a good start for that because yes, you is. could get away with, I feel like you could get away with anything over there. I don't yeah. remember ever getting kicked out of street yeah. spots or you anything just need like that. that. Permit. Yeah, that's one of the things in the in the thing. It's going to be okay. park and YTAs and going to the schools and yeah. getting involved with demos and all these things. And mm -hmm. we want to do, I don't want to do a lot of things in Puerto Rico, but right now we need to take care of the, the core, like the home the foundation of mm -hmm. it skating and then we my goal is to do all over the world like yeah. a lot of things but right now we gotta work on some mm -hmm. things get the the culture solid and then do more things in Puerto Rico mm -hmm. I can't wait to go back I, right now for example in skate park I wanna do a lot of things in the skate park local skate park mm -hmm. for uh, uh, how you call that uh, uh, Airbnb mm -hmm. things with the skate park cause we have a building oh that'd yeah. be sick yeah I'm trying to build like buildings to, to, over the buildings <sighs> There's a lot like of ideas. Like a skate park. Yeah, I don't want to talk like too much. Like a hostel yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, hostel. <laughs> I'm that's boy, one of them. In Columbia That'd be like that. a destination. I'm like, like, in Columbia yeah, do something. Yeah, yeah. Like so, like, that's yeah, one I of the many things. I've seen that does that down in Mexico, too. Yeah. Like, so, so I have, we have that building that we can grow bigger to do, oh, like, such a good idea. you know, to do that and do, like, yearly event I'm trying to do in Puerto Rico. Yeah, I got a lot of, uh, dude, mm. Puerto Rico, that's, oh, my God, dude. I see the gem. I will, yeah, but it will be happy. It's something. It's the most. It's the most beautiful place in the planet. Yeah, I don't. I, I, like. I, I love it. I was there. talking with Tato yesterday. I wish I was Puerto people, Rican. Like, we're, we're definitely are. doing a <laughs> organizing some sort of Puerto Rico thing. Yeah. This yeah. Wait, are you still uh, doing the Cape Diaz thing? Yes. Yeah. Right now, I'm waiting for Ivan. It's because we're really hard. Uh, we want to do. We're trying. Sorry, Ivan. <laughs> um, we're trying to do the premiere of Hermanos uh -huh. in Puerto Rico and the skate park and stuff like that, I and see. do something really sick. So we're trying to do that That'd in January, sick. but we don't know if we're gonna be ready. So you guys will hear about it. Mm. We're trying to do that and do the same thing, the Por la Playa tour. Yeah, we're trying to bring that back again because oh that was God. next level. Yeah, like so we're trying to do that, but right now we gotta keep on hold the dates. But hopefully, in 2019. We're gonna do some gnarly yeah. touring around the island. So I want to oh come back God. to Puerto Rico. I was talking with Tato. Yeah, yeah, we, we need yesterday to about that too. Yeah, yeah, and, we uh, have to. We it's have the to. best New York winter. Puerto, Puerto yeah. Rico, yeah. New York too. Like winter. anybody in the states, like should go to Puerto Rico to skate because it's yeah. it's cheap destination. Yeah. It's paradise, especially mm -hmm. in like the winter if you're living yeah. like the northeast oh, yeah. or something yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. It's it's so easy to do too. Like yeah. everything about it, it's, it's perfect. It's, it's kind of like got the city feel too. If you go to the right places, you could just skate around from spot to spot. Spot, spot, spot. It's so good. And then like the next day, you just. Jump in like yeah, the the, yeah, the, the ocean, waterfall, the river, river. Yeah, go to yeah, yeah. UK, whatever. And it there's is. also that goddamn park. This, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah so the house yes, is ridiculous too. <laughs> yeah, and there's yeah. all parks all over the place. All the parks all over the northwest is full yeah. of skate parks. So many spots everywhere you go. Like, there's there's a lot so of many spots. There's yeah. a lot of there's cool. a lot of spots. It's like a mix. This is a mix of a Spain construction style and American together. It's the whole thing. Like, Everything's close too. The whole island. Is yeah, the whole yeah, island's yeah, only like yeah, you, two hours yeah. to go across the yeah, whole. Yeah, you park like in the town. Like, you park in the town. Oh, the plaza. Yeah. You go around like the an, plaza. Not even that. It's like what, like an hour and a half or something to get from one side. Like completely from one side. It's like two hours. Okay. It's like, uh, yeah, it's like two hour and a half. Yeah, one side, mm -hmm. like an hour and a half. Sorry. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's like yeah. hundred by thirty five. So there's a lot in that little island, and it's it's paradise straight up. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. A lot of people, more people should visit Puerto Rico. I feel like people don't do that enough. Soon, soon enough, we're gonna promote something. We figure out. Mike Choli, by the way. Side note: Didn't Mike Choli live there? Yeah, yeah, is it, Did he? If, if, yeah. Uh, Mike Choli moved there because he's a surf guy. Surf guy, uh, and he works yeah. uh, in a enfermero, doctor, something like that. Is uh, he still there? I think he's still there. 
I God think. Damn. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I know Hayden Ball went there for a while. Yeah, he was studying there. He was, he was studying school. there and yeah. stuff like he's back in San Diego. I, I was so I jealous. He's yeah. like, I'm there for school. I'm like, mm-hmm. you're fucking bastard. <laughs> 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 I don't have a blast. I, I, like, I want to go yeah. to Puerto Rico. We're going. We're going soon. <laughs> we're, going, we're going soon. We're going to try to put those together and then this do this I massive want, tour I again. I on that too. Yeah, yeah. We hopefully do everything at once. The premiere. Do a Puerto Rico episode of Jump Street. Amen to A. Can't wait. In front of the beach. Can you imagine? Oh, wait. I got you guys. I got you guys a spot. Okay, we got the Ray. We got, 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 got the Ray Benz on. Welcome to this episode. Yo, <laughs> we gotta do it. No, no, we got this. If if we pull together, we're doing it. Oh, we're doing it, hundred percent. Doing it. So, yes, that's <laughs> bomb. <Vamos. laughs> oh, yeah. Vamos soon. <laughs> All right, we got a we got a question from um. Someone wants to know. Any, do you have any hand plant tips? Because you're, pro- you're, you're, you're <laughs> I, I, I want to know that you're, you're, you're also likely like any, anyone who's listening to this podcast might have saw the Instagram post we had, and I was literally literally staring at that photo. Like, how does he hand plant? So Even I, the shirt that I'm I wearing. I was staring has a, on my phone. Of you doing a hand plant. I was staring at my phone like this. <laughs> like how how is it so good? Do you have any yeah. tips? So I, I put this question in because I also want to know <laughs> like it's yeah, yeah, yeah. like i i i've kind of recently been learning it's yeah. funny because yeah. they are really easy yeah, i remember back in the day tom fry used to, <laughs> tom fry used to say i don't know why people do inverse anymore because they're too easy and it was true for wow. vert skaters yeah, yeah vert skater, that's true that, yeah that, that's true like inverts on pools and mini ramps are a different story than vert ramp right you know? i would not but do it on vert. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they're actually easier on verts, yes, it's scarier. Yes, yeah. it's scarier, but it's but verts a whole other thing in itself. Yeah. Verts scary because you're f- literally face down on a. But that's why you right. want. Right. But you're not gonna fall on your face. You just slide down it. Yeah, and in the position, anyhow. Okay, go for it. Um, there's plenty of tips. The first one is be able to learn how to air properly with your feet in front of you. Like let it take your feet mm-hmm. goes to the coping like trunk mm-hmm. in air. You feel lightweight. And you start doing under coping, and then they start you feeling that the little tutu. Billy got some good inverts. Yeah. I've seen I mean, it. Hey, zero, no. spin <laughs> zero, zero spin I, inverts. Yes, zero. Yes, zero. I, I could do a couple. Like a zero <laughs> spin shoulder. Yeah, yeah, he got it. But the, you build your way up, and you start playing with it. Just, you have to be a kid. You have to hug yourself like a little kid. You're yeah. not gonna get hurt in the ramp like a little kid. Next thing you know, you're grabbing coping. You, it's gonna feel like a normal air. And you look at the co- look at the ramp and go back in. When you start grabbing coping, the next thing is when a real invert gets invert. The first rule for an invert, your hand has to be straight on the coping. And you, this hand straight on the coping, you have to see the coping in the deck. When it gets scary, that's not where you're doing it right. No. Yeah. When you're pausing it, and you look in, and you breathe, and you come back, that's an invert. So yeah. Some people go like this. I, see, I, I haven't done that. That's what I do. I do a little yeah. up and some down. Some people yeah. do inverse. I haven't, that's, I haven't that's, held that's one. That's what I do. Like, some I, people, I see you hold it. I'm like, what? How yeah, is he yeah, doing yeah. that? And some people do inverse and they, they look like an L. Now that I'm hearing this, I don't think I've actually ever done an inverse. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Like, yeah. yeah. Like, I don't think I've done yeah, one. Yeah. <laughs> but this, that's the process. You got to keep doing it, doing it. The thing with inverse is years of experience. Right. The inverse get good with the years. Every time you see somebody doing a real invert, that means that's years. And inverts are so scary, too. Like, that's the thing about it. That's the thing yeah. about inverts. It's so hard They're to commit to learning how to do it right. Because you have to be a kid again. Yeah, you do. You have to hook it. It's and scary. then, so you know, they come naturally. And like you said, though, too, it's like you, you want to, you're not going to go straight to a vert ramp to learn it, even though you said it's easier. Uh, yeah, you're yeah. Gonna, most people don't have access to a vert and ramp. You work your way up. But you, you're doing like a mini ramp or a little quarter pipe, and it's harder to even do it that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have to push your legs out certain ways differently because yeah, airing is different also. Yeah, exactly. Airing on a vert ramp and mini ramp is completely different. Yeah. When it's a mini ramp, you have to jump a little bit. Yeah. If it's you, vert, you don't jump. Same thing with inverse and mini ramp, you have to kind of pop all crazy, different mm-hmm. out. And you go to the vert, you pop out, you're gonna go flat, but you're gonna yeah, die. Yeah, yeah. This level that you said of go. The more vert, the more less you have to do. Yeah. You know, jump or whatever. But it's a process of playing like a kid under the coping, under the yeah. coping, under the coping until you grab coping. And then when you're grabbing coping, your goal is to stretch your hands straight. Yeah. Your feet completely straight, and you're stalling, and you come back. Do you, like, when you're coming up to it, when you're looking at the coping, when you're, like, going up to invert, do you, like, reach to grab the coping first like do your, does your arm go first or do yeah. your legs go first depends on the inverse there's all kinds of inverse like eggplants sad plants or whatever I didn't but even the know name, this what? Yeah, it's a bunch of different ones <laughs> eggplants in, like ham, normal ham plants sad plants still inverse sad plant. plant there's a bunch of, that's a sad plant yeah <laughs> I, I didn't even know there was different <laughs> yeah, inverts yeah, 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 like I'm scared for 22 plant. years you yeah. know this yes yeah, I mean I, I remember hearing it back in the day yeah. but I didn't know the there's different stuff. Yeah, different different lingos from yeah. like yeah. different yeah. like people. The, that yeah. I'm just giving so, it 22 so years. I didn't even know this. Like that's that a sad plan. The one in the t-shirt is a sad plan. It's like classic, classic Chris Edwards and all these people. Like so, what is a sad plan? Sad plan is that the way you you tug your leg between the thing. And you it's the easier to stall it like that. You see how my skate is like touch my crotch. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, no, I, I thought it was just a grab, though. That, it's not that's just a grab. That's grab. That's why I was looking line. at the photo on the Instagram. I was yeah, like, that's what it, you're it's, doing. It's, it's so tight, and the other leg's so far yeah, out. Yeah. But like, that's wow. the easiest invert, actually, to stall longer. 
Mute grabs are harder, or the dark grab ones, the stale ones are tricky. Rocket ones, my buttoning ones are crazy, kind of more laid back. But what, what was the question? Uh, you, do, you, do you put your hand out first to grab it, or you put your feet up first and then look down? Everything at the same time, because the you don't really put much hand weight on your hand unless you stall it. Yeah. But basically, it's like an air. You throw your feet first. That's what I said first. Yeah, you yeah. gotta throw your feet first and grab. So you do like an air. You lean back yeah. your your feet first, and then you plant your hand. Right. And everything kind of at the same time, like prunk. Yeah. You aim to the coping with your eyes, but you let it's your like, feet It's like take. hitting a rail. You want to jump on. You don't want to step on. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh, it's harder when you go like boom see, like that. I, I, that might be th- something that I was doing wrong also. You feeling too heavy in your hand? Yeah, because I, I, your feet. Well, I was learning with Tato. I think you, you saw the clip like a couple years ago. I was yeah. doing Tato on that 10 foot, that 10 foot half pipe. Yes. So it was like in between a vert and like a uh-huh. regular half pipe. But yeah. we were learning on that. And I got like so confident with coming really close to it. I'm like, okay. And I just threw one. And... I put too much air and I put my hand down and I caught too much air and I couldn't reach the coping Ooh. and that was and that was so Ooh. scary. Dave Flan did the same thing on the mega. It ramp. ruined my whole experience. It's scary, wait, it's scary wait, in your mind. Did you it's say on the mega your... ramp? You ever seen Dave missing an no. invert? That someone missed an invert on that thirty-four quarter pipe. Then twenty-seven. That Dave. sucks. He went. Dude. I was going to ask you about inverting the, the mega ramp. You have to what? have a lot of patience and be very careful. Last patience. Dave. You got to have big balls of steel. Dude, yeah. he, went, he, went, he went like this. He went like this. Anything and, on that quarter and pipe. He overshoot the coping, so he went like no. this. Oh my god! How did, he, six, how, did six, land? how did he land? He land like right next oh, to the coping. He almost, he almost bounced on the coping. Oh. <laughs> but he came up on the deck or on the? No, he stayed outside. Ish. Okay. Yeah, if he, yeah. Oh, he didn't go straight down. He went straight down he to the ramp. Down. Okay. He didn't land. He, I did that before. Yeah, I rather, I rather land down. down the, you rather land down the ramp, right? Then on the yeah. deck or on the yeah, coping? Yeah, yeah. I done it before in the coping. Was a kid like hitting shins on the coping or just oh yeah, yeah. Like who did that? One of the skateboarders did that. Like the first year of the mega ramp in the Oh, I don't know. Bunch of people done it. Yeah. Oh, that guy that when he hit his shins and. Uh, Danny Way, yeah, was it Danny Way? Yeah. yeah, and he came back and did it again. Do you know Gnarly. Danny Way? Huh? Do you know Danny Way? I skated with him once or twice. He doesn't like bladers, right? He's on his own world, yeah. But yeah, he, yeah, X X Y C company, they they hate blading, but that's uh, they don't care anymore. I was just curious because they I didn't say I, shit. I don't care about anybody. <laughs> I don't care about I'm, anybody. I'm just curious yeah. because I know you're at you're at Woodward, like having like a lot of interactions with like yeah, yeah. a bunch of different pros and things yeah. like that. And just through the grapevine, we heard that like you know. Danny Way, XYC, not crew. big on rollerblading. Oh no, that's no, fine. XYC crew, they were the print. They still have a little Instagram. They put XYC. some stuff back today. They're like the number one haters. Yeah, so. but they, that that company is based on that on hating and everything. Right, camera will get yeah. them. I know, I, but I never had any problem with Danny yeah. Way. I've seen him around, was nothing. Kind of good thing. Yeah, yeah, thing. It, it's kind of part of the culture. So yeah, 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 yeah. I was, I was just curious if, if you, because you know, you live next door to the mega ramp. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, and, and I know that's Danny's ramp. Right? No, he does not that Danny's ramp. Oh, he, got, he got it only in Hawaii. For some reason, I thought that was his. I thought that was his. No. 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 Well, it, at the beginning was we first that thing was first a foam pit, so he can learn double backflips. Okay. So we got the old X Games ramp or whatever, but never worked out for him or whatever. And then we build they build a whole thing, but that's not his ramp. He have a ramp his own ramp in Hawaii. Okay. Gnarly. Is it really? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, I still want to go so He's bad to the Woodward West Hawaii. Mega Ramp. Yeah. Huh? I still want to skate the Woodward West Mega Ramp. You so should do it soon because it might be coming maybe, down. Maybe the maybe at the no. yeah really yeah, why because yeah, it's getting it's falling apart. Uh, Is it? And the new company wants to invest money. Will it be, will it be here for the winter? What if I I came to uh, Bakersfield yeah, yeah. for the? Yes, we might have a big uh, session in January. Is that like the it? same direction as Woodward? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, maybe I'll, maybe I'll make that trip to finally make it to Woodward yeah, West. We talk about it. We talk about it. We talk about it later. Yeah, of course. But by the way, how much different is the East Coast? Mega ramp versus the West Coast one. Uh, have you skated the East Coast? No, it's a mini mega. It's so a mini mega. It looks mega. fun. Yeah, it looks fun. It yeah, is fun. It is fun. The quarter pipe is yeah. almost as scary though. The, the, isn't, the, it, isn't it? Isn't it almost even close? <laughs> what, I, I, I thought it was like almost the same height though. Hell no, it's twenty-seven feet. The mega. And what's the thirty set? What's the eighteen? Oh, the one in, in uh, East Coast is eighteen. Yeah, okay, so it's nine foot difference. That's like a whole another ramp different. Yeah. Well, sometimes you, when you jump that that ramp and you land and you go to that quarter pipe, you wish that quarter pipe was like twenty bigger? times bigger, yeah, yeah. so you don't air that yeah, much. Because yeah. it feels more the, the faster you go, the more I normal. Used to, I used to feels. just I used to just do it and just air onto the deck. But when you do that, you get like ten feet of air. Yeah, in in the deck. East, so in, like in West, if you jump the ramp and you don't t stop. And you're trying to land on you're the deck, done. you'll it, it, get ready. It's, it's down Dave a mountain. You yeah. have to be Dave Flan to survive. Yeah. Like, literally, like, there's a mountain. Yeah. yeah. And they <laughs> put a bunch of pieces of plywood down yeah. the mountain and they made a huge... Like, you were make, like I heard that, like, a mountain. Just, I heard, yeah, I heard that that's what makes it scarier, gap. too, though. Because yeah. you're just bombing, like, like do, 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 do. And it's like going like a, like a roller coaster. It builds up. It's not like a rolling. You just drop in. Rolling, yeah. And the other one, the nitro, too, and everything's like a rolling. I want to skate the nitro one, The nitro looks fun. Even though it's power. That ramp is powerful. I rode it with the... Oh, the bungee? With the bungee thing? Yeah. It's insane. 
But yeah, it's like the scary one where like, you're dropping your... Do, 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 do. You remember that? I just want to drop the small one. At the I know that. Right. Yeah, the small one is 50 feet. So yeah. it's not small. And what, what's the big one where we're east? Uh, 35. 35. So it's even... I thought it was the same size. So Hell even, like, oh, no. Oh, it was damn. a different planet. I, I, can't wait, I can't wait to go to the World of West no, one. It's, it's, no, it's really like... Okay, I was going to jump the Mega in, in, in Wood of the West and I was with Maddie. And Maddie's like, okay, cool, I'm going to jump it. We were both up there about to do it. And Shrock? he jumped it, Matty Shrock, Matty yeah. Shrock, yeah. And he jumped it, and he just like hit the knuckle, and just like sat on his hand for a second. So he flew in the air, and he landed on his hand, and it looked like the most nothing fall. It looked mm-hmm. like nothing happened. Mm-hmm. Like oh, it's, he really saved himself. And he's like, okay, cool. I broke my thumb. Like mm-hmm. I was like, damn, yeah. it's that, it's that scary. I was like, no, I can't, I'm not messing with this thing. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? Because scary. because it, it, it's one of those things. Like even if you have like a fall that's like a, a basic slide on something else, mm-hmm. you're gonna you might end up asked that. No, but but you, that, but actually, when you figure it out, it's actually safer. Well, I, I can imagine that, if you figure it out. Like yeah, that, the timing. That, that's fault. something I learned too from the the mini mega. It's like there's three different levels. The same way there's three different levels of the big one. Mm-hmm. So you jump the small one, and you're like, oh, it's kind of tough, whatever, and it's weird. And then you jump the second level one, and you're like, oh, this is easier. You jump the third one, like, oh, it's even easier. Like. It, it's it's kind of the same thing and you just get more speed for it and yeah, it's like yeah. it's just like jumping a regular launch box yeah. just like, you just need the balls for it to be that big mm-hmm. you know and then you have to worry about the quarter pipe at yeah, the end yeah. obviously but yeah. it's 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 the one one at, uh, east actually is an easy ramp to it's jump it's a fun one it's easy it's and sick. fun but it's just you need the balls to do it yeah west is like I would even say it's easier to jump the mini mega than a, a regular standard launch box. It's yeah. not steep. It's not steep. It's, it just throws, throws you right forward. There. Yeah. The thing with the real mega is the timing. It's a lot more timing and speed. It's like yeah. you need to do everything like ten times lower, but you're going mm-hmm. twenty times faster. Yeah. But that's it, what it is. But you yeah, the balls but the speed. Yes, yeah, yeah. You have crazy. to be really respectful and know what you're really doing because things are going to go really bad. Yeah. But you know you get used to the timing and it's like it's like being a little kid again in a big skate park. Yeah. You're like, oh my god, that's your great. heart races yeah. when you're on top of that yeah. too, and it's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty sick, pretty fun. It's a whole different beast. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, I love that. I'm a street skater, but I love just that. It's amazing, it's, right? It yeah. is just, just he's really everybody fine. should try to skate a it mega ramp mega, sometime. It's even a life if it's experience. a mini mega, anything like that. It's, it's a life experience. You think you've seen a ramp until you've seen something Dude. like that, and it's like, <laughs> like I never seen the World West mega, but I've been to like Nitro Circus and seen like those. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, that one is even bigger. Is it bigger? It's bigger than Nitro, of course. Oh, no. Oh, I thought you meant the Nitro is bigger than the Woodward West no, one. No, 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 the Woodward West was bigger. Way yeah. bigger. Yeah. yeah. I just want to drop in the roll into the Nitro one. <laughs> yeah, I would drop in and just the, hit a the bag thing, The thing with those ones is like in loop back really easy. You remember? Uh, uh-huh. uh, you can, in the rollings, if you're not really ready, you can loop oh. in the back seat. Oh, Shoom. yeah. Remember? Oh, okay. You were there when uh, uh, Joy, Chase, you went that, that week. No, but I saw that clip. Jesus Christ. Did you see that clip? No, I don't think so. Joey tried to jump it, and he was... He basically got like sent back. He did, he did like he a backflip. He like launched it and oh yeah, yeah. And, like that's Dude, like a cat. It was the scariest thing. Into the knuckle. So how do you and land? Right at the knuckle. He, was, he turned like a cat. Yeah. <laughs> what? But he was <laughs> flying like this. Yo, that's Instantly. scary. He was doing it really well, but then yeah. he went from the very top and he kind of changed. You know the the G force is so uh-huh. strong when you hit the training. Yeah. Right when he training, he went like this. Whoop. Backseat like this. Since this I, is a, I've almost done that uh, on the mini. Since too. this is a pre-recorded episode, we might be able to pull it up. You might be watching this right now. If okay. you find it, I don't know where it's at. <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's out there. It's out there. It's, it's, out there. it's, it's out beautiful. Okay. I'll, try, I'll try to find that. Beautiful. Then. I never laughed so much. I was, I was so scared that we couldn't stop laughing. I never <laughs> laughed. Dude. I never laughed so <laughs> no. hard. It's funny that he. If, if, if it could have been not funny, it can be really okay. easily. I saw that thing, everything like that, and I'm like, he's dead. He's gonna. Then he said the knuckle. He started twisting. He said. There's joy. He's there's joy. Yeah, there's there's joy. 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 Yeah. <laughs> but he wasn't uh, there. <laughs> have many people gotten like super broke on the Water West Mega? Yeah, I've seen people. Like, like what? i seen. So I never like heard of anyone. I said skateboarder really. like, the thing with the Mega West is that it's di- the quarter pipe is different. So it kind of throws you really wrong because it's not perfect. And uh, That's I not seen, the quarter pipe to have not, a not yeah, perfect not, uh, yeah, yeah. So I've seen people like blasting f- like big airs and carving in and landing with their shins in the coping oh see that's or but seen, with the ramp itself yeah, anyone the, ever the get like war- fucked up on the ramp itself yeah the what the ramp itself not the quarter pipe just oh like the ramp itself yeah I seen kid getting speed walls before the jump and yeah he, that's, he hitting the ramp and not being the oh, same kids again like hit like the ramp not even making it off the ramp off the ramp oof Montre was bad, doing bad. that at the Woodward 
East one. He was he was trying to like, drop Montre? a trickie or something. Yeah. He was just, I think it was rolling. He was getting the speed wobbles for whatever reason. And me and him were like, yo, let's five it today. Let's five it. And we were like going to do it. And we were like learn, inching, inching up to it. And then he started getting the speed wobbles. And like he started, he was like, I don't know, it's so weird. I get him wobbling around. And then That's he the did scariest one. thing, by the way. He did yeah. one when he was about speed to wobbles. jump. And he's like, it was so bad at speed wobbles. And he got, <laughs> like, I'm done. I'm not doing it anymore. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I'm, yeah. On a, I'm on the mission by yeah. myself. You know, what's the secret? <laughs> you know what's the secret to avoid speed so wobbles? The secret is we have with speed, when you have speed wobbles is because you're leaning w- in your weight more in one skate than the other. That's what happens? Yeah. To avoid speed wobble, you got to keep your body weight on both of your mm. skate the same weight. That's mm. weird. Try it. Yeah. When you lean more in one than the other. Yeah, you gotta keep your you gotta keep yeah you gotta keep your weight. So I guess if you're like in a spin or something, you're probably leaning on one leg more to get ready to jump. Yeah, you get speed wobbles or whatever. When you land, you kind of like squat it more one side than the other. Especially with skate, when you stagger like that, you gotta be really cautious. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Science behind it. Yeah. Oh, make it around. Um, do we have anything else? You know, I don't want to let him go. I know. Like, I'm trying to think of like what else. You know what I mean? Like, but no. I mean, we we don't like have anything right now. But I mean, Miguel, is there before we leave? Do, do you have any like, you know, wisdom yeah. words? Oh, you know say? what I wanted to do, kind of. Okay. Remember, because yesterday was the Pope off, and we didn't get to. Uh, I'll cut this out. Of <laughs> I love thing, that you called the Pope off. Pope is so sick. Pope off. It's the Pope off. Remember how we were supposed to shoot something we didn't shoot it, but we had like a bunch of questions. I know. Do you want to see if Miguel will ace this test? I'd love to because Miguel's an encyclopedia of bleeding. So I will, uh, our original uh, plan was to mm-hmm. do you have you don't have your book do you? I might have the photo I sent you though. Okay, so we were supposed to do like a shoot at the the Pope off. Like we were gonna walk around kind of like quiz random bladers uh-huh. on like questions of skating and like give oh, away sick. stuff like shirts and stickers or whatever. Oh, we were just so it was just so crazy yesterday. Like yeah, we didn't get a chance to do it. Too much power there. Yeah, so energy. we didn't get to do it, but we do have the questions though. So and it's interesting. We know you've been around since the 80s, and Not you're so 80s. knowledgeable on skating. Uh, we've been okay. around with us. And we're curious if you could ace our, our like test. This, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I do have the questions. Nice. Okay. Always. Are you ready? Always. Are you I up bo- for it? I'm born ready, yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> First question. Dinner. In Hoax 2. Hoax 2. Good one. Before That's the New America. York City section, someone said, finish the sentence. What's right. that? What's that question? You're gonna, you're you gonna fi- complete. The oh, sentence. you're gonna finish the sentence. You okay, finish the sentence. Oh, I tried this. I haven't seen it in this a while. This guy said, "Welcome to New York, where if you don't impress us, you can walk home or something, or fuck <laughs> off or something like that." <laughs> um, you don't know where for where? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, say it to New York. Let me try to think in my mind. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to New York, where if you don't impress us, us, you can walk. Fuck. Like, we take your skates and, and walk, walk off and you walk home. home. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it, is the guy with the, the dress. The guy with the dress in Brooklyn, Brooklyn yeah. Banks. In that's Brooklyn Banks. It's in Brooklyn Banks. That's a, yeah, that's a partial. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. keep a score. Yeah. Over we'll give that a partial. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. So here, here's yeah. another one. How many questions okay. are there, by the way? How many questions? It's eight. Okay. Well, nine actually. I have an extra one. Okay. That's funny. Two. According to Dave Kolosh. Dave Kolosh. In Hoax Two. Chief Theory Royale. What is a hard trick? <laughs> yeah, he answered before he did it. That's a right. Oh, shifty right. royal. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. They call like, Who is the first East Coast skater with a pro skate? First East Coast skater with a pro skate. That's a good question. Probably uh team with Kelso or you? Mm-mm. No. Um, oh, but they never, never came out. Fuck, um, Ortiz won the yellow one. Well, one that came out. We're talking about that one that came out. That's a good question. First East Coast skater with a pro skate. Pro skate. Whole East Coast. Whole East Coast. Not New York. The whole. Oh, the whole. Oh, ah, East Philly, Coast. Philly. Uh, Jeff Fredericks, isn't it? There yeah, 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 yeah. With the with the, the blunt, with the blunt thing on the back. Yeah. I'm thinking of New York. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Frederick, okay. dude. Frederick, full through to a point. Right, this, 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 like, so this is an easy one. This is like for the conduit. What is the sum? What is the sum? Yeah. Get some? What? The, s- <laughs> the sum. S-U-M. Like, who is that? Sum? The sum. The sum. S-U-M? Yep. Scum? Sum. <laughs> yeah, the, that's what they used to call the mind game team. The sum? Yeah. The sum. You didn't yeah. know that? I don't remember much no? of that. It's like oh. crazy times on blading. Okay. 
Too much baggy clothes. Wow, we got it. Too much baggy clothes. Yeah, there was a time. Too much baggy clothes. Yeah, yeah. There was a time in skating that was actually. It's very confusing time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not going to give you a point for that. The sum, that's true. They have a sum. You remember, like, it was an ad. The ad all white. It was like that. All like that. Yeah, Elliot and everybody. It was like their kill team equivalent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The sum. Yeah, it's true. Wow. What former pro skater? My former. Was was on the show Friends. Oh, for, oh, former. Oh, because I remember uh, a, a, Brian's, a, a former pro skater. Yeah. Brian, I know Brian Smith used to be there. Yeah, there you go. That's oh, but are you talking about? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. he's not a pro. Do you anymore. remember the the Senate stickers in the fridge? Yeah, yeah, on the fridge. And the backpacks. Yeah, yeah. All the he time. had the assassin bag. Or maybe Wait, it was on the fridge. Yeah, yeah. Senate, on the show. Yeah, yeah. Like a bunch of shows. Check it out. Like yeah, yeah. 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 And the thing, and then oh. a lot of times, uh, Joy, I think one of them, Joy. Have us uh, send in backpacks. No, yeah. the person. Oh, Joey thing. did too. Yeah, I, yeah, I remember the backpacks. Send in backpacks. Brian did. Brian said, no, no, through the whole episode. Even when Brian was there, oh. they still were. I never the seen the whole episode. I just saw yeah. like the clip. You of can him, still. Like, I didn't see the clip. You I can still see the send things through the whole time. I remember the magnet. Yeah. Crazy. Damn. Yeah. I'll yeah. try to find the clip to overlay. Yeah, go watch Friends. You will see some send shit. Crazy. Okay. That was crazy. What former pro skater? Former pro skater. Is a is a beer enthusiast and now a brewer. Oh, uh, there's two. There's Mike, uh, Mike, Mike, Michael Pollack and Rene Holgren. I didn't know Rene. Rene Holgren, dude. Rene Holgren is the pioneer of beers that, that, in the that, skating. Yeah, that, that's the question is about yeah. Rene's <laughs> right answer. <laughs> okay. Who named the fish brain? It's easy for you. Uh, Tom Fry, isn't it? Yeah. That my, my hero. Okay. Who were, who were the first two skaters to try the leap of faith? First two ones. Oh, wow. What was it? Uh, Matt Matt and Jason Marshall. The Daily so Bread good. video. He's yeah. so good. That was naughty. That guy was no jokes. Yeah. Is, that all, is that all your questions? No, I have one more. Okay. <clears throat> what is a Diana? Diana? Mm-hmm. Ooh, the Olive, Olive Unity. Mm, they no. call it like I that. didn't know you had that question on there. No, is that, I thought that was a New York thing. That's a bonus. Yeah, it's a bonus. Yeah, a Christian Rodriguez. We call it Diana in Puerto Rico for Diana is Ali Mizu. Ali Mizu. Oh, oh yeah, Ali Mizu. Or, but Ali Unity too. I, I, never, I never heard yeah, that. Christian one. Rodriguez. What? Yeah, yeah. Diana, Ali Mizu, obviously, but the from Savannah. I wonder who Diana was. I never heard that. Another. Think about know, it. One she girl. She had to exist. One of those. One girl, probably. <laughs> Speaking, <laughs> she had to. To make, it, to make it an even 10 questions, uh, since we're on the female topic, do you remember the first female pro skate? Female pro skater? Pro huh? skate, not pro, skater. Uh, Tasha Hudson, I believe. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Tasha. Tasha was so sick from New there Zealand. Scott Bentley's girlfriend. Guys, it was like <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah they were girl, yeah. She was so sick, dude. She won the first X Games, too. Women's event. Is she? Yeah, she won the first, ex- vert, first women's vert contest. She Tasha destroyed it. She was ripping. Was I didn't so know that she good. won the first X Games. First X Games was Tasha House, and that wow. was Fabiola for and Ajumi for years, and that was it because nobody can catch those two. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Then Fabiola started skating against yeah, the men. The she went to the men's. Yeah. They put Fabiola with men's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She was so good. They were tired of giving her all that money. She still does like flat spins yeah. and shit. She's like, still on blasting, and stuff. Like, blasting air. So she's just a ripper. And she's like, dude, she got some age and she's still ripping. Yeah. It's crazy. crazy. So sick. Well, yeah. that, uh, what'd you get, an 80 on that or a 90? I think he only lost one. The mind game one. That's it. And the Diana, but well, you got a, you got a mistake with the Mizu and the. Yourself. You got a half point on that other. On the first question. The first question. Yeah. You got an 85. But I, I, an, pass. I answered the college one before you ended. That's a. I know. <laughs> we should do this. We should do this every every, every episode. Guest. We should. No, do, we, we should get like five questions. I send you guys some questions yeah. too. Oh, okay. Okay. oh God! Yeah. Please. We have a new questions. segment to the show. Yeah, yeah. It's called yeah. the quiz <laughs> segment. <laughs> Taking the school. Taking the school. That's awesome. Well, Miguel, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you guys for having me. What a great guest to have. Amazing. My pleasure, and I'm really really happy you guys are doing this i know me and a lot of us out there around the world we've been waiting for a show like this that from people like you both that i'm i, I admire both of you skating and it's like you guys oh, are thank you like doesn't get more true than this you know like the truth you there know you what go. i mean <laughs> like <laughs> yeah. it's really sick we need it we need like like people from that live and die for blading they've been doing it and pushing the sport for so many years like you know people that know the staple center over the rail guy Thank that you. threw tops she are the most the gnarliest things yeah. in the world oh yeah being in the microphone taking care of this doing this because we need it and i deeply say thank you from me and from a lot of us out there watching this that we're like Really thank you so stoked. much it means a lot coming from people dude, like you like, too especially it's so sick the best yep. time of blading right now thank you so good exciting uh, yeah. things are to come yeah a lot not of just with us with everybody with everybody yeah make sure you guys out there like they're leading by example like you guys have got good ideas good things to be able you guys want to help blading help people that they're doing they've been here forever and doing this if you don't start your own thing but you still want to help 
help people like you guys and to take things to the top is up to us and only us so i'm happy you guys are doing this there you go thank you initiative it's like if you would like to support us we do have a patreon page for yes. donations mm -hmm. um, get in there i'm getting support there. caminos with yeah. miguel yes. we'll all, also, also, also with there's, the a, there's a new blader gang shirt yeah. there's a woodward west like if you got if you guys young kids it'd be great yeah. to like come out yeah, yeah. support that keep and, that going keep yeah, blading in yeah. woodward and not just us also the blading camp you got that Blading out there camp, around yep. the world in Malaga and all that stuff. There's yeah. a lot of cool projects, a lot of yeah. beautiful things getting out there. So make sure you guys support what you guys need to be supporting. And mm -hmm. it's up to us and only us. That's right. Keep it. There and if you, don't follow, and if, if you don't follow Miguel on, it, on Instagram, it's uh, at Miguel Camino. <laughs> yeah. On Instagram. Or, or Camino's Project, too. And then check out on Instagram. The Camino's Project. The Camino's Project. Yeah, we can, you guys can catch up. I'll post it, too. And, you know, we... We we'll get we we'll the links. We figured this out. It's a project. We'll, it's up to us. We, 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 we like we we take it over there. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Thank so you. So be sure to follow us all on Love. Instagram, <laughs> YouTube, Facebook. Uh, subscribe yes. to us on iTunes, Stitcher. Um, join us next Leave week. Leave us a comment on our Leave iTunes. Leave us a comment please. on our iTunes. We're gonna do comments of the week every week on every iTunes. Week? I mean, not comment. Uh, review of the review. week. Review. Review of the week. Um, send us your submissions for WTFs of the week. Also. Uh, and it's join amazing. us next Wednesday, uh, 8 p.m. We'll be back on our regular schedule. Yes. Next Wednesday, 8 p.m. So join us for that. Miguel, you're the man. Thank you so much you're for coming. Man. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. We'll so see much. you all next week. Do this. Get it. <laughs>